Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventure here in Digimon Survive. Last time, well, a lot of things happened. We went and found food and water in the school, and then we went searching for some of the others who disappeared, Saki, Shuji, and the professor. We found the professor who then led us to our dear friends who were being chased by Fangmon, who had thigh-high leather kink boots. And after a vicious battle atop a dam, we managed to win the day, though the professor was thrown overboard into the fog. And then Fangmon got eaten by the fog as well. So, things doth do deepen. And we still don't know what the deal of the two kids is. Because we saw a ghost boy with a demon face. Something's going on, but let's go and find out what that is. See if we can see if we can see. Well, I'm sure we're all pretty worn out in more ways than one. We should get some rest. Yeah. I can barely stay on my feet. Shuji, what's wrong? Ugh, stay away from me! Why is Shuji being the biggest asshole? Oh, wait, am I missing something? You don't expect us all to sleep in here, do you? There's plenty of space. What's the problem? Look at all these nice clean sheets, too. No, I mean boys and girls in the same room! Oh? Hey, don't worry about it. We got way bigger problems than that right now. Are you crazy? How is this something you expect me to just not worry about? <laughs> you get scared very easily, it seems. Girls need privacy. What about when we need to get changed or take a bath? She does have a point. Up until now, I've just been doing all that somewhere else. What? So you boys had her go off on her own? That's awful. Show some consideration. We've only been here for about, like, two days. And most of that has been panic, fear, and worry. Yeah, you tell them, Saki. Floramon, please do not make things worse. But we never know when we might be attacked. We thought it was safest to stick together. Anywhere in the school will be fine. We got attacked in the school. Hell, Aoi got taken while we were all in the same room. Or is that your deviant little excuse to spy on us when we get changed? Ah, <laughs> gross. What? Takuma? No, it's not like that at all. We are trying to live. What does she mean, deviant? Uh, it's a website. A lot of inflation happens there. You don't know, Agumon? It's something that changes from one thing into another. Like a caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. Isn't that right, Kunemon? Kunemon feels odd, apparently. Ah, uh, you're both really smart, and all these Digimon are kind of silly. That sounds like evolving! <laughs> if there's ever anything you want to know, just ask me. Yeah. No, I believe in this instance. Ah, oh, on second thought, never mind. The point is, we should have separate rooms. Honestly, I hadn't really thought about it before, but Saki's right. It seems like an obvious thing to me. You all have not been here! And again, Aoi got taken in the middle of the room. <laughs> ah, like it even matters. We're never getting out of here. Never. I feel like we're being wrongly accused here. Like, look, what do you think, Takuma? Hmm. Well, I guess since Saki is here... If there's, like, a room available... Hmm. If it makes them more comfortable... Saki has a point. I think we'll... I feel like we've been rude. No, I should have said something. Don't blame yourself, Aoi. They're the ones who need to apologize. Really, Saki, it's okay. As for where the two you should sleep... Haru, can I ask something? How would everybody feel if the girls slept in the music room of Haru Miyuki? Miyuki's a girl and Haru's still young. I guess I'd be okay with that. Yeah, and then the kids can help bolster their numbers. That's good. 
Yeah, me too. So, yeah, things aren't... That works out well, I'd say. Yeah, so would it be alright if these two slept in the music room with you? Then again, I'm still a little odd about these two, so maybe this is a bad idea. What? But we don't... Yep, things are odd. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Great, thanks a bunch. Did she convince him? She may be on the quiet side, but she is the older of the two. Again, thing is odd. It's almost like he was about to say, we don't sleep. All right, now seriously, let's all get some rest. And again, they also have their Digimon. So things shouldn't be too bad unless bad things happen with Miyuki and Haru. Can't say I expected Saki to jump to that conclusion. Give a guy a little credit. Still, could be that she's kicking up a fuss to put on a brave face. We were freaking out about losing everyone, then ran into the professor. And then look what happened to him. Uh, we all agreed to meet at the cafeteria ra last night, right? Maybe I should head over. Morning, Takuma. Hey, Minoru. Morning. Poor depressed Ryo. Evil asshole Shuji. Ryo, Shuji. Good morning to you, too. Minoru doesn't exactly look chipper, but these two seem particularly upset. Not that I blame them after what we saw. So yeah, same here. It just doesn't seem right. The professor was the only adult here, and he vanished into the mist. Now it's just us kids, and none of us know what to do. But it's no fun if everyone's down in the dumps. Yes, and even my jokester of a partner seems rather despondent. I wish we could cheer them up. No, don't do that. Can't you read the room? The room? How? Oh, you can read rooms? What? Oh, that's not what that means. Uh, poor Lopmon. Now, now, Agumon doesn't mean anything by it. Are you guys always like this? Such behavior is typical for Agumon. Likewise for Kunemon and myself. I don't think we've seen this portrait of Falcomon before. Kunemon doesn't really do much. He seems like a brave little worm. Labramon isn't here right now, but she usually keeps Agumon in line. Oh, uh, okay. Things done getting so rowdy with us. The professor kept everyone going while Floramon and Saki would encourage me. Yes, from what I saw yesterday, your partner seems rather unreliable. Even though he's the biggest one? Bigger doesn't always mean better. Besides, he seems rather harsh with Lopmon. It's... it's not that bad. Well, all of our partners are young, so we cannot expect them to be perfect. It falls to us to protect and support them, so they might act properly. I'm going to do this, Professor. Just watch. I'll get everyone out of here, I will. No, you won't, because you're a failure. Loser! You're a loser! We can't just keep... Grieving forever! Those tears don't exactly help your argument, Shuji. Minoru, try not to appreciate what Shuji is going through. He spent a lot more time with the professor, so it's a bigger loss for him. Give him time. I mean, I'd like to, but we kind of need Shuji as our leader. I am the leader! Because I'm the only one with choice! After him, the next oldest is Aoi. Oh, and Riel, I guess. Of those three, Shuji's the only real choice. I need to be strong. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can't spend all our time grieving. We need to assess the situation. Now, you told me about the school and your supplies. Actually, now that I think of it, how did you spend the night, Shuji? Outside. Yikes, that's rough. No wonder he's been so high strung this whole time. I'd be the same if I spent an entire day running for my life. All right, let me tell you everything that happened from the beginning. I explained about how we found the school, meeting Agumon and the others, the fight against the spider monster, meeting Haru and Miyuki and more. Yeah, that's, I'd still say you were the ones playing in hard mode. True, if I hadn't been for the professor, I don't think we... But I don't know what might have happened. Just the thought of being hunted down by a terrifying thing. In kink boots, no less. No thanks. 
What even was that anyway? They kept babbling on about children and sacrifices. That fits with what the professor had said about the Kimonogamy and human sacrifices. Maybe we wouldn't be in the dark like this if we could just ask the guy. Uh, I mean, I should probably shut my mouth, huh? Yeah, there's no turning back the clock now. One thing's for sure. There are some weird monsters out there, not to mention that fog. Yeah, that big wolf thing just vanished right into it. I wonder what happens if you get swallowed up by that fog. Can't say. Algamon and the others want nothing to do with it, that's for sure. Clearly, we'd, be, we'd better watch our step, too. When you're right, you're right. What if there's just copies of the school in the mountain way out over these ruins? What if this is all some kind of huge prank? What? What's a prank? It's this type of joke where you trick people for laughs, especially celebrities. What? Although I can't see the point of going to all this effort just to prank us. If this is another world, it would help explain some things. Like why hasn't there been any sign of a rescue team? Not even a helicopter? It's not like this place is that remote. It has trails, a shrine, and an old school. Uh, I don't want to hear this! Shuji falls silent after Ryo's outburst, but the implications are clear. I need to think about how we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Takuma, this isn't getting us anywhere. Shuji's just crying at this point. Do not apologize, Lopman, you poor child! Well, you heard, Kunemon. I'd suggest we reconvene somewhere else. And besides, I'm getting hungry. And we should hear what the girls have to say. Those are all good points. Let's ask the girls, and then we can all get food together. We'll need their input before we make any decisions anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. Let's pick up this again in the cafeteria, because I am starving. Alright, we can't, we can talk over breakfast. Oh, and come to think of it, I still need to use the bathroom. Uh, you guys go on ahead, okay? Why? Something wrong, Takuma? Just needs to use the bathroom. Be right back. Oh, okay. You could have just said so. I did. When asked. So much for averting nobody poops. Then again, that's Numa Mom. In a nutshell. Well, here comes another big conversation. Sounds like it's already started. Huh? Is it yelling? Please, no yelling. You're right. I can hear Shuji yelling something. Sounds pretty intense. Do you think something's wrong? Aye, aye, aye. What's going on? I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. We're just kids. Exploring could get us killed. Exploring helped us find you! We can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs, huh? We should at least look around. Indeed, fully understanding one's situation is essential for survival. I I'm with Shuji. It's safer in here than it is out there. And I agree with Ali. Better not take any chances. Right, and I think I'm not about to put any of you at risk. The professor wanted me to get all of you home safe, and that's, that's what I'll do. I don't know how to make it happen yet, but we're all going back together. That's not true. No matter what we do, there's no way of knowing what might happen. Right? And if we're in danger either way, why not go out and try to find a way home? I can see your point, but do you think it's really worth the extra risk? Any thoughts, Ryo? He's gonna be depressed about it. <laughs> uh, he's been like that since yesterday. I guess we'll take that as a no, then. Uh, Miyuki, Haru, what do you think we should do? I don't know. Don't know. Right then, so the three of you are not voting right now. Ah, Takuma! Good, good timing! Well, so far, opinions have been split down the middle. What's your take on this, Takuma? Uh, you want to know what I think? Yeah. Should we scout out the area or stay here and keep a low profile? Oh, I like that. Let Takuma have final say. I don't know. It seems like a big decision. Personally... Because on the one hand, I kind of want to ingratiate myself with Shuji, but he's also kind of an asshole. And the thing is, again, 
we have more people now, so it should be safer to go and search about. And we should know more about our surroundings and make sure that it, nothing's actually sneaking up on us. Because, again, if we... Because let me just put it this way. If we followed Shuji's example, then Shuji, Saki, and the Professor would have been destroyed. But because Shuji wasn't here to be like, No, we have to be in the Because Kaito and Mew is still out there. We're looking around. I think we should explore and see what we can learn. I knew you'd make the right call. But, but what if we get attacked again? Digimon, we have the Kimonagami. We fight back, like last time. What makes you so sure we'll win? Well, I mean, he's got a point. What other option is there? You want to just sit here? What's that going to accomplish? Things could change. The monsters might vanish. Or maybe even leave. <laughs> no, they won't! <laughs> you an idiot! Mr. Four Eyes! Yeah, well, I'd rather take my chance out there than wait around for that to happen. But we can't just head out there with nothing to go on. We'd be risking death. Hey, how long is this going to go on for? I'm bored. No need to be rude, though the conversation does seem to have reached an impasse. Also, Shuji, you asked for my opinion, and you clearly were saying these were votes. Votes. You know what that means, Shuji. Democracy here. Okay, calm down, you two. Fighting like this isn't going to solve anything. Why don't you both try and cool down for a bit? Yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, yes, let's do that. All right, let's take some time to think this over again. Damn it, I skipped the thing. Then we can pick things up when... It's hard because whenever the voice, like, skips like that, it makes me worry, did I skip over the entire line? That, then we can pick things up when we get together for lunch. How's that sound? Works for me. Uh, yes, let's do that. Then we're all agreed. Let's finish breakfast and stop for a break. Free action! So now I have 12 moves! I... I guess I... Do I have a new mamon I could Or did I have something that could evolve in the new mamon? I'm going to save and check, like, various things, maybe. First things first, is that, because it's been eating at my mind, is something. What is the moral wrathful and harmony again? Okay, because he's not here. I have no affinity with Shuji or Saki. Lots with others. And we're, I'm not sure how long the game is. And the professor's still here. He's A, B. So, we have Saki and Shuji that we should spend at least some actions on. And we could also explore the various other places, and we can... And there's nothing in the forest area but free battle, but we could also maybe look around there, see if there's things... Yeah, first things first. Woods by the school. And then we'll do um, things, maybe. Alright, there's one camera thing there. Basically, I should ignore if it doesn't have a thingy thing. Is it a shadow? No, it's a mushroom. I should probably use those on my Digimon. Okay, let's see... I guess I'll go to the cafeteria and talk to these two. I need to be extra careful with my time. You know, we haven't really been properly introduced yet. That's true! Hi, I'm Agumon. Nice to meet ya! And I'm Takuma. I'm Floramon, Saki's partner. Pleased to meet you. Um, I'm Lopmon. I'm a Shuji's partner, I guess. I take it we're all on the same side then? Of course. Well, I'm more on Saki's side. If she ever leaves, I'm going with her. <laughs> well, be sure don't beat around the bush. 
She doesn't seem bad, though. And she helped protect those two. Naturally, Saki is very special. Yeah, I care about a lot about Shuji, too. Got it. Well, it's nice to meet you both. We can talk to Agumon and not waste time. What's wrong, Takuma? Aren't you going to talk to Shuji and Saki? How dare you call me out like this? Are you okay, Saki? You seem kind of down. Yeah, it's just when I think about the professor. Come on, Saki, don't get so upset. Can't you spare a smile for me? Thoramon, <laughs> sure, thanks. Man, what are we supposed to do? Cheer up, Shuji. Hey, get away from me, you monster! Sorry. Uh, what is it with you? You're supposed to be a monster, but you're so pathetic. Flopmon and Floramon are both trying to be encouraging, but with different results. Saki seems receptive, while Shuji is almost scared of Lopmon. I feel bad for Lopmon. Yeah, reminds me of Rion Kunemon. If this keeps up, it's not going to end well. What do you mean? Mm, I'm not really sure. I just get that feeling. I'm even less sure of what Agumon's trying to say, but it's a shame they don't get along. Well, we shall spend two time thingies. Hmm, I guess I can't talk to Saki, but I can talk to Shuji, which is probably both. Professor, what should I do? Shuji, stop that, would you? All that talking to the professor is driving me crazy. But Saki, aren't you sad? He was so good to us, and then, then he was gone. That's why I'm telling you to stop, because I can't help but thinking what happened. The professor saved me too. He was very nice to me. And then when I think about what happened... Uh, I'm sorry. Man, they're both so sad. Clearly they're upset about what happened to the professor. I shall try to cheer up both. Even though that'll probably give me nothing. And then... Part of me wonders if I should save Scum. Because it feels like it would be kind of a dick move. <laughs> He's like, ah, we have to apply Mass Effect 1 logic. If the people think that they can go get both, they will, and we have to punish that. But at least don't, like, make me mad. Come on, you two. Don't get so down. That's not what the professor would want, is it? You're right. It's not. I mean, I know that, but still... Come on, how long are you two going to mope around? You're both so fired up before. Have you stopped caring about whether we stay here or go exploring? No way, don't bring that up. You think I stopped caring? I've been saying we should go explore this whole time. What? You know I can't allow something so dangerous. I can't believe you. How can you be so stubborn? I'm the oldest one here. It's my responsibility. Well, I'm a lot more concerned about getting home than I am about your responsibility. And now they're fighting again. You see, this is what I was afraid was going to happen. Well, at least they're both fired up again. So I uh, take it neither one of you has changed their mind. That's right, we're going exploring. No, you've got it backwards. We're staying here. We're going. We're staying. Uh, I guess I'll come back later. Keep it friendly. That's what I figured would happen. But I shall be a little shit ever so slightly. Because I figured that's what would happen. Feels a little bit jerkish. He's like, no, because I knew it. I knew it would. And that's like, I'm only going to save scum in minor moments like this, where I'm like, this is the obvious answer. So it's obviously not going to be the answer. I'm going to comfort Saki because... Mm, but Shuji can potentially become a good leader, but he's an asshole. And I don't want to encourage him being an asshole. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm potentially going to save scum in the case of Shuji alone. Because he's an asshole. And I know this is like, oh, you should keep to your choices. But when the game is like this obvious trickery, where it's like, I want to cheer them both up. And at the same time, knowing that the game is probably going to jerk me. And be like, haha, you thought you could cheer them both up? Well, you're wrong. Hmm. I'm going to comfort Saki. Or should I encourage Shuji? Because maybe if I get to know Shuji a bit more... I can, like, unlock his friendship event and make him less of an asshole towards Lopmon. And I have other opportunities, potentially, to help Saki. I'm going to encourage Shuji. 
Shuji, I rely on you. Not because you're the oldest, but because I believe in you. Oh, really? Really, I mean, you're working harder than anyone to take charge right now. I think that's inspiring, and I know the professor would be proud. You think so? That's... that's great to hear. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna step up and keep everybody safe. I'm glad Shuji's feeling better. Yeah, me too. So I've taken neither one of you strength up, oh, and then we're back here again. So it's not as big of a blow-up, at least. Let's see if we can talk to Saki. Nope, they're still going at it. Profound sadness. It's like the moment that I entered, I was like, yeah, I'm probably not good. Should I even waste time talking to the kids? Maybe. Eh, let's do a free battle. And then I need to decide, oh, then I'll have to see if I have like uh, anything that I want to try, because these should be virus types. Hmm, special. Let's see your stats. And you're a blazing eyes. And makes it easier to provide allies with backup. Lonely soul. Pain. We should probably give you something. Hmm. We do have skill crystals that we should probably give to him. So yeah. We'll throw Lopmon in and Lopmon can go with them. We'll have Floramon follow you. Then we have two more. Hmm. Because I, mm, I should probably use Kunemon just so we can get experience. Actually, come to think of that. Let me give you a skill crystal too. Because we hardly use you. So there we go, my dude. Start the battle. And these are virus types. Let's see if we can talk to them. If only to get like one on the team so I can look at his like evolution tree. The monster bends forward, scowling at you. Clap vigor. <laughs> Actually, let's mimic his posture. No. Clap vigorously. It doesn't even talk. The monster is even more on edge. Yow. The monster shakes his head and he starts to leave. Speak kindly to him. We have one chance. The monster looks warily in this direction. Try to soothe him. All right, we got him to at least the midpoint. The monster seems to expect something from Tukuma. You can ask him something now. Be my friend! Stupid slime monster! And we're probably not even going to fight. I misclicked. We want to go all the way. Probably. Oh, you get to go now. His normal attack is ranged. Interesting. Now let's go ahead and talk to this new Mamon. Honestly surprised that they don't have lines. They have the biggest mouth out of all of them. Seems interested in what the humans are saying. Talk to him slowly. All right, he likes that. Must look a bit calmer. Monster shakes his head as he starts to leave. Did speak kindly to him worked. And then finally, he's trying to say something. Give it some food. You're a very simple creature, Numamon. Come with me. Damn you. We didn't even get to fight.
hilarious that he's the only one to level up. My biggest, baddest Digimon is the only one... Double? Oh, that would be a harsh one, maybe. Unless it's like a... Ba -ba -ba. But let's see. If we want, we can get him to War Growlmon. Who seems like an absolute monster. Unless it takes two. Yep, insufficient items. So I technically could, but can't. Fiumon, who can you evolve into? Wait, we already looked at that, yep. Yeah. Burdramon, Miramon. And then the Gazimon can become Fangmon. If we want to just make things weird. What about you, Gatsumon? Oh yeah. So Numamon are a higher level than you. They're technically champion, that's... How the hell? That doesn't make much sense at all. And then we still have Betamon. We could have Seed... Oh yeah, you have the most evolutions available to you. Probably should have grabbed more Betamon when they were common. Hmm. Because how many items do I have that I should probably use? Because I have enhancements, skill, training. I should probably use those. And we have one... Oh no, no we have two mature enlightenment slabs. Evolves a free monster to champion. Oh, so we need specific kinds of slabs to digivolve them. All right. So if we want, we can boost up some Digimon to champion level. Max HP. Special attack. Physical defense. Speed. Sincerity melon. We should probably go ahead and use these on our, our mains. Okay. Let's take a look. What is your lowest stat? Physical defense. Your lowest stats are physical defense and special defense. We should definitely see. And also your health, all things considered. Do we have anything good for defense? No, because somebody else has them, or seems to be. Hmm. I think I'll give you the crisp apple. Because you are a little, little man. Yeah, you have a speed. Trying to think who should get what. Because you're the mage. Or a mage. And these two definitely could use some speed, all things considered. I'll give you a Sincerity Melon. And an Earnest Banana, because I want to use you guys more. I'll hold off for now. Could try and do that to get more experience. I guess let's go to the corridor, because we have lots of time, it seems. It's Allie. Should I try talking to her? Who be there? Another gro- a giant mushroom! Oh, I think they're all giant mu- mu- Hello, table. Who's there? A- just a bunch of mushrooms. I really need to use them, apparently. Hello, Labramon. Owie, is something wrong? You don't look so good. No, I'm okay, just a little tired, that's all. 
I'm glad we found Saki and the others, but seeing what happened to, to the professor and that horrible fog, it feels like we've been through a lot in an awfully short time. I know exactly how he feels, and it's not like I can tell her to just get over it. Well, don't be too hard on yourself, or if you're tired, you should rest. Akamon's right, Aoi. Do you want to lie down? Is there anything I can do for you? Thank you both, but... Labrima, uh, actually, Ad Labramon, there is something you could do. No problem, what is it? Would you let me pet your tail? What? I've wanted to do this all the time. It looks so warm and soft. I bet it's super fluffy. R really? I don't know. You don't want me to? Mm, okay, just be gentle with it, okay? Of course, you know I will. Thanks, Labramon. Just watching the Maui grinning while Labramon looks so conflicted is comforting. Conflicted poor animal. <laughs> Brings me comfort, apparently. I'm a sadist. Oh, Allie. Takuma? I'm sorry about earlier. No, I shouldn't have gotten so flustered. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's fine. Besides, given the circumstances, we're all a bit on edge right now. Thank you, Takuma. That's very encouraging. I approve. <laughs> Thanks. Well, now that I've run to Allie, I might as well get her, to uh, get her take on things. Our situation should be good. We have lots of food and water. And we're relatively safe. How do you feel? Well, I'm scared, worried, and pretty shaken up. Honestly, if the professor gone, I'm having a hard time staying calm. I know I need to relax more, but... Hmm. Why does this... Why does this feel like a choice? I guess if I want to ask about anything else, there's still more. Hmm. How's our situation? It's hard to know what to make of it. After all, we're just kids with nothing to go on. I think the best thing to do is to try and stay safe until help arrives. Well, no, help's not going to arrive because we're in an alternate world. Hmm. What's going on? So, what do you think's actually going on right now? Hmm, I'm not really sure. I can't wrap my head around any of this. Sorry, I know that's a bad answer. It's like how I always blank out on tough questions. I know I ought to be able to force myself to think, but that's easier said than done. Aoi tends to be like your typical honor student, but she can be really indecisive. And I guess we'll finish off. What's our next move? So, what do you think our next move should be? Well, we don't know how long our supplies and clothing will last. For now, I think we should focus on our basic needs. You're always so practical, Aoi. Sometimes it feels like you're our mom. Stop it, I'm just a worry wart, that's all. Yay, affinity up! Thank you, you calmed me down a little bit. Thanks, Takuma. No problem, same here. We should hear everyone's take on the situation anyways. I wish we could even contact someone instead of getting these random jarbled messages. I know, it'd be great if we could even get a signal. Then we could go to the internet. Let's go to the boy, Rio, the poor man. He's always worried. He's depressed. Hey, Kuneman. Yeah, I just I still have no idea what you're saying. Sorry, Kunemon. You're apologizing. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of me. Kunemon might understand exactly what I'm saying. Well, I'd like anyone's listening to what you have to say. <laughs> yeah, nobody's listening. Uh, Rio, what are you talking about? Yeah, right. Not a chance. You, me, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. I don't... <laughs> yes, that's it. All in my head. <laughs> that's all this is. Uh, Magumon, do you think Ryo's actually talking with Kunemon? That's what it looks like, but I don't know if Ryo realizes what's happening. Kyu! Kyu! <laughs> Shut up, loser. I wonder what Kunemon is saying. Somehow I don't think Ryo's going to tell me. <laughs> At least if Ryo gets to know Kunemon more, good for him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, that's it. <laughs> uh, Ryo, are you feeling okay? What's up? Who are you talking to? There's nobody there. Q. Seriously, Ryo, are you sure you're okay? Uh, shut up. It's it's all over anyway. It's over for us. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, she's coming for me. <laughs> it's no use. He won't even look at me. I hope this is just him getting flustered or experiencing some temporary form of shock. Like... What do you do when so no somebody gets like this? Leave them alone? That feels wrong. I'm gonna save just to be safe. I'm paranoid. 
I'm gonna leave him alone. I wouldn't want to just make things worse. I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> it's all over then. <laughs> I, I, he'll be okay. It's over. It's all over. We're done for. Finished. Completely screwed. I'm worried about Ryo, but I think I'll leave him to Kunemon for now. Why don't we go back to the others, Agumon? Well, that's depressing. I don't think forcing him... Mm, but then it could possibly be grounding. Hmm... Hmm. 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 I gotta know. How the hell would I force him to engage? This is like that Fallout 4 issue where it's just like... <laughs> or no, it's kind of like the, uh, the Telltale game where people thought... Like, uh, it's the big bad wolf, and you're the sheriff, and you're going around this fairy tale city trying to solve, like, murders and mysteries, and, uh, the... Or, or, no, you're not a sheriff, you're like a detective, whatever. But the actual sheriff, the woodsman, is, like, at a bar with you, and people are like, Oh, glass him! Give, yeah, give him a drink! And then they select it, and you bash a glass over his head. Well, time to be cruel. Can't just leave him like this, it might be hard, but I want to get through to him. Listen, Ryo, you really shouldn't be off on your own. Why not stay in the cafeteria? Oh, I thought he... That doesn't feel like forcing him to engage. That feels like reaching out and comforting him. I wish that it would be a bit more clear. <laughs> Let go of me. We're all screwed anyway, no matter what we do. That's not true. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll be okay. Besides, we've got Agumon, Kunemon, and the others. They'll help keep us safe. You got that right. Cool. No, I'm telling you, none of it's going to change anything! It doesn't matter what we do. We're just gonna die, and in that case... In that case... Ryo... Oh, oh, I hate this! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! Help me! Save me! <laughs> Man, he's going insane. He's not looking at me again. I'm not sure I'll be able to talk with him anymore. Very odd. Yeah, I wish that the... Like, decision thingy wasn't force him to engage, but reach out and comfort him. It just feels odd for it to be labeled that. Force him to engage. That's not really what happened, though. Portrait! All the portraits on the wall look musty and faded. Some of them are tilted and fallen to the floor. Odd that we can look at them now. Hello, Haru. Hmm, Haru. Oh, and Miyuki, too. What are you two doing? He's wrapping string around his finger. This almost seems familiar, but why? Cat's Cradle. All right, that old game you play of string. I'm surprised you know how to do it. My sister loves this game. Okay. He says that, but it looks like she's playing and Miyuki's just watching. How does it work? I want to play, too. You tie a string into a loop, then you use your fingers to make shapes. But it might be hard with fingers like yours. Oh, man. Haru seems sh sure seems relaxed. Has he given any thought what might happen next? Then again, he's still pretty young. Maybe it's best that he plays quietly by himself. Stop playing games! I'll ask him his thoughts. Any thoughts, Miyuki? So, Miyuki, any thoughts? Well, you know, about whether we should stay in here or look around outside. Does it really matter? Um, Haru, I was asking Miyuki just now. In here, out there, they'll attack. We'll find nothing. Either way, it's the same. You actually answered? Yuki? And then she fell asleep. That was fast. My sister is tired. You should let her sleep. Yeah? You should worry about yourself more than me. Oh, yeah. Go and take this. Oh, five big bandages? Thank you, Takuma. All right, Ogumon. We better head somewhere else. You know, quietly. You got it. Shuji left... How dare he? No, Minoru left the Bibbidi Bot? And they don't have their Digimon in there. They move around. I miss opportunities. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, I guess I'll go to the cafeteria. Oh, it's Saki. I wonder if she's gotten used to this place. Hello, Floramon. 
Florimon, you get along really well with Saki. Have you two always been like that? Well, when we met, we were constantly on the run, so there was no time for fighting. And you know, Saki can be fearless. Yeah, I think I get what you mean. Speaking your mind without being afraid of what others might think does take courage. Are they hammering in the... the not crescents, but the... The little thingy things from the adventure, I could see that. But don't you think it's normal for us to get along? After all, you two seem pretty, you two seem pretty close. You bet we are! Oh, sure, but we didn't start out that way. I mean, I was pretty scared at first. So was Minoru, I think. Only Aoi and Labramon start out on good terms like you two. Oh yeah, Aoi seems like she's pretty brave too. <laughs> That's the problem with you boys. Oof, guess I can't really argue with you on that. Well, that matters is that you're getting along now. Try to get that connection. Right. You know, you're surprisingly well put together, Florimon. Hey, what do you mean surprisingly? So rude. Hello, Saki. Ah, Takuma, come here, would you? I could do someone else's opinion. Hey, what about me? Oh, right, sorry. It's funny, though. Talking with you feels like talking to myself, Florimon. It's weird. <laughs> That's What's that supposed to mean? I don't mind joining you, but are you sure you don't want someone else? I'd take anyone at this point. <laughs> Maybe you can tell, but I got lonely pretty easily. I feel like a lot of girls are like that. I get lonely easily too? Does that mean I'm a girl? No, you don't seem like much of a girl to me, Agumon. Still, Aoi told me she likes reading by herself, so maybe she doesn't get lonely. Huh, speaking of lonely, how did Haru and Miyuki survive here all alone for so long? It's weird, because even if it's a little different, sitting here in the cafeteria eating lunch like this makes me feel like it's been all a bad dream. Wouldn't that be nice? Then the professor wouldn't have... And Saki is still upset about Professor. Maybe I'd better leave her alone. Hey, talk to me about something, would you? Huh? That'll help. Get my mind off things. Well, okay, uh, guess she wants to talk. We should. Right. How do you feel? So how does all, uh, this all make you feel? I don't know. So much crazy stuff has happened. I feel like I'm about to explode. To be honest, this is all way too much for me to deal with. I'm really not sure how to react. The best I can do is just not think about it at all. If I'm sad, I'll cry. If I'm scared, I'll scream. It's good enough for me. Uh, sure. I can understand. I can certainly understand how Saki feels. We're all basically in the same boat, myself included. If I let myself dwell on things, I'd be frozen with terror, so I hold on to hope. I need to keep pushing forward, otherwise I might end up like Ryo. Um, did I lose you? I'm oh, sorry, there's a lot on my mind. I get it. Honestly, if we weren't careful, I think I'd go to pieces. More! How's our situation? Look, I don't really know about our current situation, but here's my take. Remember what Miu said about the curse when we first met? Yeah? I think that was true. You, uh, think so? Could that really be true? Creatures we've never seen before? Strange jumbled messages? Sounds like a curse to me. Oh, you got, got one of those messages too, huh? They are kind of creepy, aren't they? At least everyone's here. If it were just me, well, I'd tear up just thinking about it. More. More. What's going on? So, what do you think is actually going on right now? How should I know? Yeah, I hear you on that one. Whatever happens is gonna happen. What matters is how we act when it happens, right? And finally, what's our next move? So, what do you think our next move should be? I really don't know. Pass. I'll leave the thinking to you and Allie. Me? Why me? What do you mean? Don't you usually make the final call? Uh, do I? Maybe you're right. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts. It was helpful. Good. It helped me take my mind off things, too. Um, thanks, Takuma. All right. I'd better get going. Sure thing. Good luck. Make sure to take the time to talk to everyone. Will do. See you later. And I better hit up Shuji in the woods before he gets himself killed. It's Shuji. What's he doing? He better not say, What are you doing out here? I'll be... I doubt it'll be a fight. Ooh, more sincerity, Melon. Hey, Lopmon. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Lopmon. What are you doing? Well, I'm gathering food. I'm going to get as much as I can and give it all to Shuji. That's nice. I hope he appreciates it. Yeah, I hope so, too. I bet there's more over there. Let's check it out. Wait, no. If we get too far away, it might put Shuji in danger. All right. Sorry about that. You really are looking out for Shuji, aren't you? Yeah, fighting scares me, but Shuji's important to me. Even how Shuji treats him, that's really admirable. If only you could see that. All right, Shuji, I'm giving you a chance. Don't be an asshole for once in your life. Uh, Shuji, what are you doing out here? 
Oh, I thought maybe I could find some food, nuts or wild vegetables or something. But we still got plenty of food, and I thought you were against exploration. I am, but I wanted to do something to help out. But besides, I can always run to safety from here, and having more food can't hurt. It's not like there's anything else I can do to con contribute. Well, I don't think that's true. He's doing his best, I know that. I can appreciate that he has a strong sense of responsibility, but it seems like a waste of energy. Not that I could come out right out and say it. Let me help you, Shuji. That's gotta be hard to do on your own. Here, let me help you. No, I got this! You've got other stuff to do, don't you? Leave this to me! That backfired. By the way, Takuma, did you get one of these garbled messages as well? Oh yeah, you too, Shuji? That's right. I can't call, but uh, uh, can't call, but illegible messages like that get through just fine. It's so weird. How in the world can this be happening? I'm Shuji. <gasps> Hola, man. Where have you been? I went to get some nuts. Wow, look at all those. Great job. I never asked you to do that. You keep away from me. Sorry. Poor Lapman. I realize Shuji is scared of Lapman, but that just seems cruel. All right. So he's a masochist who doesn't want help ever. And I guess we'll go to these two. It's Minoru and Aoi. Maybe I should talk to them. More items to finding. Where's Labramon? I definitely need to use all these up to get more stats into my Digimon amulet acorn. wonder what an amulet acorn is. What are you, amulet acorn? What is your power? Special defense. Ah, Falcomon, where... Minoru, what's wrong? We, we were together just a second ago, but now Falcomon's gone. Where'd he go? To the bathroom? Agumon might run off without saying anything, but Falcomon would let you know, right? He sure would. Still, this is Falcomon we're talking about. I'm not worried. And then... Labramon's gone. Hey, Takuma, have you seen Labramon? No, what's wrong? She's always with you, right? That's why I was getting worried. She was right here just a minute ago, and she couldn't have gone far. Right! I'll, I bet you'll find her in no time. Anyway, I'm sure you don't have to worry. Labramon's a lot tougher than you or me. I guess that's true. Thank you, Takuma and Agumon. And just... Wait. Nope, nobody's in the forest area. Need to remember to check that. Hmm, another free battle. Let's see if we can recruit a Fangmon for giggles. Bring these around. Let us annihilate the enemy through words. Oh, he goes first. Nightmare. Okay, good. I was gonna be very angry if you managed to. Get up all in my face like that. I'm gonna box you in. Exhaust flame. Well, actually, you're blocking, so I'm just gonna whack you. And now let's talk. Who can we talk to? Let's talk to Fangmon. I bet you've got some secrets, huh? Go on, tell me one, I dare you. I have nothing to hide. Man, what a boy you turned out to be. Hmm. That sounds dodgy. <laughs> All right, I admit it, I had a little fun. You may think of those around you as friends, but perhaps you're actually alone. Do you have friends? <laughs> and he's gonna get angry. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and digivolve you, so we can go and start annihilating. Because I don't care about grabbing any more Gazimon right now. Hmm. 
Nope. Well, I guess we could try and talk one of them out. Go on, try guessing what I think of you. I forget. That I'm easy going? You ain't trust no human. But I trust you. And then I think this is the one that I'm glad you're okay. And I'll just try to get you to be my friend. Don't attack, poor go, the poor boy. Oh no, not. We want to select attack. Because we can smickety smack him. Because he's being mean. Oh, team attack. Damn it, he missed. I'm kind of scared to actually get in close because he has a ranged attack. So I'll throw you over here. Reign of Pollen. And no counterattack. Yeah. Oh wait, he's a basic one, so... Let's see, because is it a ranged? It is ranged. Smiggity smack him just a little bit. And now I'll attack you from the side, you utter buffoon. Damn it. Oh, cause rock. Come on, that's mean. Understandable, I guess, but still mean. Luckily, he decides to attack the one right in front of him. I need to look at the accuracy more when it comes to the geometry. You cannot run, Gazemon. I'm gonna blast you from the side, little man. You little fool. You are a morang! Also, wouldn't this count as exploring because we're getting attacked by Digimon? I wonder if we get more experience and stuff if we actually murder the Digimon that we find instead of trying to recruit them. And more Numamon. Let's try and recruit some Numamon. And since this is a recruitment run, we'll bring in Digimon that desperately need leveling, which is basically just the the main group. Because they're... I keep forgetting, they are technically champion, but they don't scare me. And Numamon are rather simple beings. So first I'm going to talk. Numamon! The monster bends forward, scowling. I think he didn't like the clapping. Look apologetic. Damn it. Just stands there. Sing a song. Well, this one's gonna have to die. Talk to him slowly. Not enough. He's gonna go into a rage.
time for evolution. That Numamon must die. Let's force him to come to me. Oh yeah, and you can evolve too. Well, first things first, let's talk to the other Numamon. Bins forward, scowling. I forget. Let's clap vigorously? Nope. I keep messing up. Just stands there. Didn't like singing a song, so... Gesture. The monster's staring in fascinated confusion. Grin and wave. All right, come to me, Numamon. Join my side. Coward! Your friend will die in suffering! Dobramon. How dare you? And I will refrain from digivolving you because you've become a base type, which are susceptible to viruses. Damn you. Do. Why do you always sound afraid? Let's get you into a good position to try. Although you are a base type as well. We're going to annihilate your entire family. Get boxed in. Get boxed in. Get boxed in. Super assist. You're dead, man. You're dead, little man. Get crit for almost a thousand hits. Boy. And since that's a champion, hopefully a decent amount. Yay. And we got Giant Mushroom and Big Bandit. Still not getting many Numamons, but oh well. The f oh yeah, that's a Digivolution version. Hmm. Okay, I want to try a thing. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to go to the other area. For giggles, see what happens. Spider Lily Forest. Nice music playing, but nothing there. The shrine. Looks like no one's here, because they're all cowards. Nope, wrong thing. God damn it. And we have to do the loading in. I already know nobody's here. I just accidentally hit map when I wanted my phone. Shadow? No. Rib platter. In a diddly D. D? Interesting. Who would just leave a rib platter out here? Uh, maybe they're a good person. Or maybe they're trying to scare me. They're like, these could be your ribs next time. Shadow? Yep, that's Shadow. Let's fight him. I'm not scared of you, Shadow Man. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's been a while since we've gotten this one. Hmm, actually. Gonna do a thing. And 
we'll have Kunemon there so we can get to combat faster. Then over here, Labramon will be on the bottom. He'll be on top. And Lopmon will be there. First, we'll talk to the Gazemon. I'm glad you're okay. Do I want more Gazemon? I'll just take items from you. Let's go do something. We'd probably tie. And the percentage to getting you hasn't gone up. I already have two Gazimon, so give me items. I'll mug you. So yeah, against some of them, I should just beat them up from now on. Giant turkey coming to eat you, boy. Well, actually... That chest... It has one health, so Lopmon, I guess, can go get it. Maybe. Don't get in the way of his ranged attack, because I think he has a ranged attack. How dare you slap at the man. You rude boy. You're one with nature. The ground should be no problem for you. What I do prop... You know, I... <laughs> for a moment there, my brain was like, Oh, speed is tied to... Movement. No, it isn't. It's just... It, it's turn order. Can you actually not talk? Be... Lopmon probably can't talk. Because... He technically doesn't have a tamer. Because his partner doesn't like him. So he acts like he doesn't have a tamer. You'll get there eventually. That treasure chest will be mine. You will know true fear in but a moment. We will box him in, because we have come to murder your whole family. And I just want that treasure chest. You're boxed in on all sides, fool. Your family can't save you. You're being arrested now. One of these times, he's <laughs> I was going to say, he's probably going to get counterattacked. And the entire team will team attack, and he'll die. Boost bushel! Good job, Floramon. Can you annihilate him? You cannot annihilate him. Profound sadness. The poor adorable boy. Time for your annihilation, little man. Bye-bye. Huzzah for levels. Clobber carrot and boost bushel. I need to use these things more. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else here either. But it was a good thing I came by here. Nope, that's not what I want. Though we could get more beta mod. But yeah, it seems that the only one available is... Minoru. What's going on, guy? 
Where is everyone? Hey, Takuma, have you seen Falcomon anywhere? I haven't, no. Don't tell me he's been gone this whole time. That's right. At first I figured he'd be right back, so I wasn't too worried. But now that he's been gone so long, I'm starting to think maybe something happened. Hmm, that's weird. I seem to have lost track of Agumon, too. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. You don't know where he went? Beats me. Knowing Agumon, though, I doubt he'd go far. Right, maybe I just need to wait and Falcomon will come back, too. He says that, but I can tell he's still worried about Falcomon. At least he's not crazy enough to go out and look him on his own without Falcomon. Minoru would definitely get lost out there. Still, I wish I could reassure him. We need to have faith. Hang in there, man. I'm sure Falcomon will be back. We just need to trust him. Yeah, I guess. I mean, some level I know you're right, but... Come on, this is Falcomon we're talking about here, not Agumon. I guess that's true. Agumon will be a different story. Wait, Agumon's missing too. How can you even joke about that? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Man, now I'm starting to get worried. Anyway, I'll keep waiting for a, a little while longer. Cool, I'll be sure to send, you, uh, send him your way if I see him. Great, thanks. I made the worst choice of all choices to ever be choiced. But at least I'll get a mushroom. Nope, it's absinthe. Minoru Kunemon. Where is everyone going? What's he doing, I wonder? Everyone's gone, Kunemon. What are you doing by yourself? Where's Ryo? Q Q. Oh, sorry, I still can't tell what you're saying. Wait, I think I can guess, though. Ryo must be in bad shape, huh? Is that why you decided to go out for a walk? Man, I only, if only there was some way for us to communicate. Oh, I know. Why don't you try using gestures? Q Q. <laughs> yeah, that way you're tilting your head like that. I can totally understand. How can I put this? Why don't you try using your movements to show me what you're thinking? Q Q. There, that's a nod. This might just work. Why'd you leave Ryo? Are you sure it was safe to leave Ryo? I know he's in rough shape, but he sh but should he be alone? Q. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not blaming you. No need to look upset. After all, the others are in the school too, so it's a lot safer in there than outside. And I'm sure there are times you'd like to be alone. Hey, that reminds me, Akumon and some of the others are missing too. There's more Kunemon. Have you seen Agumon? Hey, Kunemon, have you seen Agumon or any of the other missing person? We're looking for him. Q. What? Doesn't that go to the shrine? I was just there. You mean that's where they all went? Q! But why? What's there to do at the shrine? There's more. Why are you here? What is it that brings you here, Kunemon? Q! 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 What the heck? A circle? No, something big. Or is it some kind of outline? Oh, sorry. I don't get it. And then where are you going? Is there something you want to do here, or are you heading somewhere else? Q! Nice pointing, that's easy enough to get. Let's see, that way would lead to the shrine. Why do you want to go there? Q Q! What's he doing now? Shaking his head, staying alert, looking for something? Uh, sorry, I don't get it. Q Q! What, are you saying I should follow you? I don't know, I feel like going to the force of Aragumon would be dangerous. But that's where Aragumon and the others are. I would like to bring him back. Right, that settles it. Take me to Aragumon and the others. Kwee! Great, the creepy music's back. Can't believe this is where everybody went. Hey, Agumon, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Look, there's something here. Hey, what are you all doing? Oh, Takuma, this way. Why are you all out here? I just got this feeling like something was here. Something like what? Hmm, be on your guard. Everyone, there's definitely something here. What is it? I can smell something. We have to be careful. You know what it is? No, I'm telling you to be careful because I don't know. Whatever it is, it's certainly a creature like us. But we can't say if it's friend or foe. See, look over there. Something's rustling through the bush. Wait, don't get any closer. It could be dangerous. Let's watch from here. So if I wanna... Suspicious thicket. And I guess I could scan it. But just to be safe. See what they have to say. I seen something over here, so I thought I'd go see what it is. So that's what happened. You should have said something. Sorry, just it didn't seem dangerous. 
Right, well, let's see what it is. What about you two? Did you follow Agumon? But Falcomon and Labramon disappeared, but did Agumon disappear too? I too sense something in the matter. Some manner of presence I came to investigate. But my senses alone cannot tell friend from foe, so I decided to approach cautiously. Then Agumon arrived and simply charged forward in a reckless abandon. Yeah, I can see that. It feels like we should apologize for Agumon. Agumon is convinced there's no danger, but I recommend caution in any case. What about you, Labramon? Yeah, things got real crazy when Agumon rushed right in and chased it off. Sorry, thanks for staying with him. Oh, it's fine. See, over there, there's something in the grass. And we're going to see what devilish devil that's deviling over there. It doesn't smell like anything dangerous, but you should still be careful. Indeed. All right, then. First things first, we're going to scan. Because for some reason, we can do that. That shadow. Well, I guess let's fight a shadow. I doubt it's going to be, like, story important. Oh, that's a Miramon. That's a Miramon. That's a Miramon. It is just a champion, though, so it shouldn't be terrible. Hopefully it's not terrible. We'll bring you two along so you can catch up and experience. Start bat. Start bat bat. First things first, we need to talk to Miramon. Try and get him out of here. A pulverize yak. <laughs> Scary, but I'll win. My good good. Anyone just gets in my way. We can't live alone. Damn it. So I need... Nope, I think I'm doomed. Ain't you a frail-looking bibbidi ba? I eat everything. And now he's angry. And what type are you? Base. And of course, there's a, an inorganic chest all the way over there. So he's base. And we only have one... Either way, time for Digivolution! Keep forgetting that I can go fast. Gotta go fast. Overlook. Make sure that it cannot get close. I'll send you ahead since you aren't really made for going up the steep cliffs. You can digivolve to Tyranamon to take out all these bases. Wait, I forgot. I can also try and get the Biomon to join as well. All right, I know that you don't like friends, but I think you liked health. Why are leaves green? To, m to make people calm. Well, it looks like we're going to have an angry bird on our hands. Once for a friend. Why are the birds evil? The birds must die. How dare you go for the, the little girl. Your annihilation will be imminent. Also, they can move pretty fucking fast. I mean, I guess they are birds, but still. Get behind Labramon. Defend the poor girl. Hmm. Get to high ground. And... Aw, oh, come on, that'd be great. We won't allow you to harm anyone else. Hmm. I 
to see. What is your movement? He probably has a ranged attack. So I'll go for a side move. You shall suffer for your ignorance. Smack it from the side. I forgot that you can also digivolve. Just for whatever reason, my brain is just like, no, I do not process. Now, this group can handle the in-training rookie. He's running away. Counter-attack. Lol. Do we even have a range? Uh, uh, is your thingy thingy thing of thingy to thing thing thing? It is murder. The plants and the bugs, they come together to murder. Slowly, Kunemon moves towards the treasure chest. you can move away and start getting to that treasure chest. Hmm. We'll try to move forward a little bit. Try to get Labramon in there to try and help what I keep forgetting that you can did you I'm a fool. Gonna go to the side like a jerk, aren't you? make our way to that treasure chest. <laughs> of course, it's off to the diddly dang side. Once again, I fool. I'm going to quickly undo that. Digivolve you, like I should have done five million years ago. It doesn't seem to give you much, like, extra speed, but still. It's the principle of the diddly. I'll go ahead and blast him just a little bit. Can you talk again? No, you can't. He's like, I had one bad conversation with you. I never want to have a conversation with you again. Oh, you're a jerk, aren't you? Get pollen, nerd. Gonna risk it. Alright, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'll box him in. Okay, good. You can get up there. How much health does it have? As one health. I'm gonna go for a back hit, just in case the game decides to get cheeky. 
smack it from behind. Big bandage. And now you will be annihilated. Die. The treasure chests are what make these <laughs> go on a bit. Because I just want to grab them, just in case. And we got bandages. And a growth stone. Well, we already know. Well, let's check that suspicious thicket. Thickety suspicious. Look, look, Tacoma, there's something there! Whoa! Something just jumped out! It's Gomamon! What's with that thing? Are you sure it's not going to attack? It's Gomamon! It appears wary of our presence. Look, it's hurt! Maybe that's why it's upset. It's been glaring at us this whole time. Mate, what should we do, Takuma? Should we treat its wound? That's probably why it's so agitated. You're so kind, Takuma. You sound just like Owie. Are you sure? That creature's wounded. It might be try to fight back. It looks scared of us. Maybe it's just the injury. I'm sure we'll see we mean no harm if we take it slow and steady. Have some bandages. Gomamon. Okay. We got a free Gomamon. And Lopmon's over there. We'll head to the school area. No, Kunimon didn't follow for some reason. Then I... But should we waste our turn going to check on Lopmon? Well, we'll have to see, because it's entirely possible that talking to Lopmon won't actually expend movement. But Shuji's nowhere to be found. Please don't take. It takes. Because I should head back and, like, may maybe tell Minoru where Falcomon was. But Lopmon... Lopmon. Huh, Lopmon? What are you doing here? Are you by yourself? Yeah. Where's Shuji? I tried calling for him, but he won't answer me. Ah, sounds like you've got problems of your own. Takuma, how do you feel about us? Huh? You mean about you, Agumon, and the others? Right. I love you guys. Trusty partners. You guys are trustworthy partners. That's what I think. You're always there to help when we're having a hard time. You're like our monster saviors. It's all thanks to you that we've been, we're alive right now. Well, maybe that's true for you and Agumon. Isn't it true for you too? I don't know. Lotmon is concerned about his relationship with Shuji. I know that, but there's no way I could know what to say that would help them. All I can do is say how I feel. Lotmon doesn't seem satisfied, but what else is there to say? Shuji is an asshole. Well, back to the old school, I guess. Shuji will probably be like, where were you? It's almost lunchtime. Better get back to... What is it, Agumon? Agumon, you're back. I found you. This is you. You won't believe it. I won't believe what? Something big and shiny and just unbelievable. Big and shiny? What are you talking about? Uh, what was it Falcomon called it? All right. A radio tower. A what? Radio tower. Oh, you mean a radio tower? We need to head there and get it up and running. I quickly got everyone together, and they were all thrilled by Agumon's discovery. Those towers send cell signals too, right? If we go there, our phones might start working. And I bet a tall, from a tall building at that, we could get a great view of our surroundings. Just how tall is it? It's super tall. Well, come on, you saw it too, right? How tall would you say it was? <sighs> well, it's hard to say with no comparison, but it was taller than this school. If it's that big, then there's no doubt. Do you think it's working? That I do not know. After all, none of us have ever heard of these towers before. Well, if we went there, we could find out. Who knows? Maybe there's someone there. 
Yeah, sitting around talking about it isn't going to do us much good. It sounds like we're in for a hike. Let's do this, Owie. A hike? What do you mean? What kind of hike? Oh, didn't you know? The tower is on top of a mountain through the forest and over a mountain pass. Wait, you mean we need to go through a forest? You can't be serious. This place is crawling with monsters. Just exploring around here would be risky. But you want to climb a mountain? There's no way. We should stay here. Shuji, you don't have to go get so upset. Shut up! I don't want to hear another word from you. Punch Shuji now. It doesn't matter. Nothing we do matters. Say what you want, Shuji, but nothing's going to change if we just stay here. What can a bunch of kids do? We need to wait for the adults to come rescue us. They're not going to come rescue us, you idiot. As if anyone's even coming. Yeah, Shuji, you said it yourself. Nobody's coming for us. I never said that! Not out loud! If I did, that might make it come true! Even knowing there wasn't much of a chance of rescue, none really, Shuji still hoped. I'm, I'm going with you. Labramon, will you come with me? You bet I will, Owie! Wait, Owie! I thought you agreed we should stay here! If, if that tower is a cell signal, that would mean we could contact the teacher. We could talk to everyone, even call for help. C call for help? Yes, and then wait for it to be rescued. Are you really still against this, Shuji? You tell him, Owie. And hey, that means now a majority of us want to go explore. Technically, a majority of us wanted to explore beforehand anyway. It's just that frickin' Shuji wanted to overturn my deciding vote. I'm interested in this tower, too. That puts me, Minoru, Saki, and Aoi in favor of going. So what now, Shuji? But, no. Shuji must really not want to go back out there if he's still not convinced. I think there was a way to win him over. I'm gonna save, because this one seems finicky, because again, the game is a little bit... Basically, if the game ever does a thing where uh, my character says something that wasn't what I meant, I'll, I'll take that as a chance to save Scum, because... They need to make these pretty obvious of what they mean, so I guess he'll a we'll ask. He has to get his way. Shuji, stubbornly opposing us because you can't get your way isn't going to help. What? But that's not the issue here! Really not, Takuma. Shuji isn't that petty. That's right. Well, if you all want to go, I guess there's no point in me trying to stop you. Okay, everybody. Bye. Bye. What are you two talking about? You're coming with us. And what will you do if a monster attacks with just the two of you? Well, let's not forget, neither of you have a partner monster. Indeed, we will not let any harm come to you. And I'll keep you safe too. Never one to be left out, are you? Yeah, Agumon's like this all the time. Oh, and Ryo, you'll look after the place while we're gone, won't you? W wait, don't go leave me behind! I'm going too, okay? Oh, come on, Ryo. How, how are you so uncooperative if you can't handle being on your own? Oh, uh, that's all right. At least he's finally back to being the Ryo we know. He's a little off lately, but the guy's supposed to be a bitter crabby. I'm going to stick with the choice because he does seem very much like, no, we have to get my way. Very contrarian. Especially because he overturned my goddamn vote earlier. Following directions from Agumon and the others, we emerge onto a mountain path. I have to believe this place is right here, so close to the school. And it's just a little to the left of the shrine, and yet it feels so different. We're a big group, and Haru's a little kid, but we still made it in under an hour. This drop goes really far down. It's not too steep, but it will still be a nasty fall. Hey, look, there's a huge bridge over there. It's the Golden State Bridge. Of doom. Wow, that's enormous. I've never seen anything like it before. Not this again. Can't you give it a rest? Oh, what do you mean? Give what a rest? Agumon keeps talking about he wants to be like this all. Uh, wants to be like all this stuff he sees. Yeah, but I want to be super big, just like that bridge. You see what I mean? You guys are funny like that. Don't you think it's weird, Takuma? Yeah, though it's hardly the only strange thing about them. You got me there. The fact that they even exist is pretty strange. <laughs> You're too kind. That wasn't a compliment. I've been having so much fun with Floramon and the others that it's easy to forget. But we still really don't really have an idea of what they are. 
Yeah, that's the kind of question I wish the professor were here to answer. Not that I can say that in front of Saki. And even if we bring up Kimonogamy, she'd go crazy. <laughs> you alright, Ryo? If, if we get attacked here, this time, this time I'm... D -d 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 it's okay. I don't think there's anything dangerous nearby. Ah, shut up! Leave me alone! <laughs> like you even care what happens to me. Just go on and leave me alone. That's not going to happen. We're not leaving anyone behind. That's what the professor wanted, so I, I owe that to him too. Yeah, I feel the same way. We're not about to just leave you alone. I don't want to lose another person the way we lost the professor. Damn it. Just shut up. Don't jump off a cliff. And now he's gone mumbling under his breath again. At least he's keeping pace. Hopefully that's a good sign. We've covered quite the distance. The tower's on top of this mountain, right? It sure is. Look, there's someone over there. Is that Kaito? Mew? Kaito with a new character. It's Kaito. It is? Oh, what a relief. I'm so glad he's okay. Wait, there's someone with him. Who could that be? That's... I don't know. That person has an ominous feeling. You. What did you do with Mew? And you better give me a straight answer. You're not going to like what happens next. Uh, when will you get it through your skull? I don't have to tell you anything. So she's evil. What, you little... Fine, you asked for this. What he said. Huh? Kaito, you're all right. So good to see you. Guys, help me out, this lady. Uh, please. Huh? This boy came out of nowhere and started screaming at me. I don't know why. Stop lying. I know you're a monster in disguise. So, stop. What's going on? I could believe it. I mean, I have the same feeling about Haru and the kid. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Drakmon, Kaito's partner. And I'm Agumon, Takuma's partner. And I'm Takuma. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. I'd better explain why things are messed up. Kaido and Mew were going through the forest together. Then Kaido went to scout ahead. He came back and Mew was gone, so he started looking for her, and this is where I come in. Drakmon offered to help right away, so I knew he must be all right. Well, that, must be, that was kind of a snap judgment, although I guess it worked out this time. Anyway, I started helping Kaido look for Mew, and then that human woman showed up. Yeah, you can't really sense her like you can the rest of us. True. But some of us can mask our presence, so I'm not sure you can go by that. So, what are you going by? Instinct. And I trust Kaido, which means I trust his instinct, too. But is that really good enough? What if you're wrong? Then we could just apologize. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. I vastly... Because also, the way that she acted was like, I don't have to tell you anything. Is very weird. She... She just looks like her. Who is she? What's Kaido complaining about? I have no idea. We'll just have to find out. What? Really? Not that I care. Cool. Still love the way this game is going. What do you think of that? What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing with Kaido? I have no idea. We'll just have to find out. Yeah, sounds about right. Well, ready to get to it, to Kuma? Uh, you're coming too, right? You're not just putting this all on me, are you? What? <laughs> no way. Well, that sounds like a huge pain to me. Count me out. Hey, no fair. If you're not going, then neither am I. Well, if you can come give me a hand. <laughs> Don't make me deal with this person alone. What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing with Kaido? I have no idea. We'll just have to find out. What? You're leaving this to me? Yeah, man. I can't talk to someone that pretty. It makes me super nervous. Minoru, when you speak so casually, it just makes it obvious that you're being insincere. I'm doing it on purpose, okay? Iron Bridge. A large iron bridge has been built between the mountains. Seems odd to me. There shouldn't be any roads for cars to travel on on the mountain trail we used. What do you think, Haru? Are either of you concerned about Kaido and that woman fighting? Nah. Nah. Hey, Kaido's a friend. I think you should at least be a little concerned. You keep talking about Kaido. Who is he? Huh? We've never met him. Never. What? All right, you never did meet him. Is he really a friend? You're sure he's not a monster? Don't worry, he's definitely a friend. 
What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing with Kaido? I have no idea. We'll have to mail. Why are you stop by hearing what they have to say? Good thinking, Aoi. That's just what we should do. What do you think, Shuji? Are you going to pawn it off of me, too? What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing with Kaido? I have no idea. We'll just have to find out. Yes, asking about that seems like a good place to start. Takuma, do you think you can handle this? What? Me? I'll go with you, of course, but I think you're the best one for the job. Can I count on you to take care of this? Okay, I'll do what I can. Good, good luck. Thanks. Hello, Drakmon. I trust Kaido and his instinct. I'll first talk to uh, Kaido. I trust him more than the lady. Because her, her look feels like she has golden eyes! Something has to be up. This woman just showed up and started talking to me. And she was holding Mew's purse. Oh yeah, what about Mew? You're right, I don't see her anywhere. Where is she? I don't know. We stayed together for a while. Then I left for one second and she was gone. That's awful. Then this woman comes out of nowhere with some of Mew's stuff. That does seem suspicious, but why call her a monster in disguise? Everything we've met so far has been a monster. What makes you think she's not? I'm not sure that's logical. You see, he's convinced and I don't know what to do. I only spoke to him because he's the only soul I saw nearby. Well, what say you? Don't tell me you're buying that bull. Hmm. We should at least hear you out. What do you have to say? I was out walking not far from my house, when suddenly I was surrounded by a strange fog and the next thing I knew I was lost. Not just lost, I was somewhere I'd never seen before. I kept walking until I saw this boy. As for this purse, it was lying by the path I was going but to return it if I found the owner. Nothing about that sounds off to me. Me neither. The fact that she even has Mew's purse is off. Kaido, relax. Could you please stay quiet for just a minute? The one thing that does seem strange to me is her ability to be safe without a monster. Monster? What do you mean, monster? Who are you calling monster? Oh my. <laughs> what could that be? Now, that seemed more like an act than actual surprise, but maybe I'm... No, it is an act. <laughs> what is it, Ryu? Mommy! Excuse me? She reminds me of my mother. She's a good person. I'm sure of it. Right. Considering that you've been off the entire time... I'm not sure if I should trust your judgment. If anything, this person could be trying to play on people. So, he's made up his mind. Kaido and that woman are saying completely different things. Whose story do we trust? Well, if you ask me, we should talk more of that woman. Why's that? I mean, just look at her. Man, she even smells nice. <laughs> Minoru, you look funny. Your whole face is red. Minoru, be serious. I am serious. It's not like I'm deciding based on looks because I'm so confused. All uh, right. Okay. I think I know where you're coming from. But the fact that it's an act makes me off. Let's ask the woman about her story. What do you think? Are you done yet? Can we go? They have no interest in this. Kaido and that woman are saying completely different things. Well, I think we should hear more from Kaido. Good thinking, Ali. That's just what we should do. Labamon, is that all you know how to say? So what makes you say that? Right now, it's just my intuition. I'm more inclined to trust Kaido since he's a friend. That in that woman's story just seems a little too convenient. And again, she... Because here's the thing. Before we even hit this area, before we even really... Because here's the thing. We didn't even walk into the fog before we were attacked by Gotsamon. So it, it does seem pretty convenient that she hasn't been attacked by a monster yet. We should hear more from Kaido. I agree. I don't know. Downing her because she had some Mew stuff seems kind of, you know, real flimsy. Kaido, are you sure you're jumping, you aren't jumping to conclusions? What about oh, what she has to say? Oh, come on, guys. Takuma, you must be able to see that something's not quite right here. Well, I don't think we know enough to say for sure. Wait, hold on a minute. Didn't the professor say only children get offered as sacrifices? And if so, doesn't that make it strange for there to be an adult here? Hmm? Yeah, you're right. I'm not so sure. I mean, the sacrifices might not have anything to do with this. Besides, the professor was brought here as an adult. Maybe it's not that strange? Hmm, right. Who cares about some random disappearances? She did something to Mew! 
Uh, this game's so old. Would you give it a rest? She hasn't really given any information to make it trustworthy. Incidentally, what are you all doing here? We're trying to get to that radio tower over there. Radio tower? You know there's, how there's no signal? We're hoping if we get the, uh, there, our cell phones will work. Your cell phones? Right, then we'll be able to call for help. We could even get you home, too. Oh, yes, that would be wonderful. Well, if you're heading to the radio tower, I know a way to get there. Seriously? If that's true, it would be a big help. Oh, yes, just up where there's a vehicle that goes to the summit. What was it called again? I remember it's a cable car. I could take you there if you'd like. Wow, who would have thought there'd be a cable car? This is great. It'll make things easy. It sure will. Thanks for telling us. I don't trust her. Wait a minute. Something about this isn't adding up. Why come here, then? What do you mean? I mean, if you know the way to the tower, why I come out here where there's no signal? Yeah, that's a good question. Honestly, it seemed like you didn't know what the tower was at first, or even cell phones. What? So you are a monster! Heaven forbid! I just thought someone could be nearby, so I came looking for them. I wandered all over looking for help using that radio tower as a landmark. You didn't say that. You said immediately you left your house, caught in fog, w walked along a path, found Mew's purse, and saw Kaito as the first person. You said nothing about wandering around for a long time. I'm, I don't trust you. I'm sorry if my manner misled you. I can be a bit clueless sometimes. Okay, sorry about the misunderstanding. So misunderstanding? Our explanations just now seem pretty fishy. I do not trust this bitch. Kaido and that woman are saying completely different things. In my opinion, we should hear a bit more from Kaido. Why do you say that? Well, I realize we don't have enough information to really come to a decision. Yeah, we do. She's fishy as fuck. Like I said before, that woman being alone here seems weird to me. You think it's weird that she could survive in this world of monsters all of her own? Exactly. Every few hours, there's a crisis. How can she be so calm here by herself? If it were me on my own, I'd have lost it by now. Shoji. Hmm. Quit being a dick before I punch yours. Why don't you talk more of Kaido? Zoop. What do you have to say, Ryo? Trust her. She's right. Huh? What makes her say that? She, she reminds me of my mommy. Not how she looks, but she makes me feel the same. And mommy's always right, so she must be right. I'm not sure about that. It, it couldn't be. Could it? Could it be mommy? Yeah, that's it. It's mommy. She's come to save me. Yes, it's her. You've lost it. Get a grip. I'm not sure I can trust Rio's analysis, given the state he's in. I know that woman are saying completely different things. Why don't we ask about the woman's story? Why is it just that? Just a feeling, you know? Besides, it's not like there will be any holes in her story. More importantly, I can't stand how Kaito just refused to listen. He keeps going on and on about not trusting her. It's like he's got tunnel vision. <laughs> That's a funny face you're making, Saki. It's all scrunched up. Well, come on. Don't look at me like... Uh, don't look at me when I get like this. Well, I do see what you're saying. She's been off the moment I saw her. She has yellow eyes! Seriously, you should go listen to more of that woman's story. I'm trusting Kaido. You monster. What did you do of Mew? I keep trying to tell you. I don't know. Cut the crap! Admit it! You kidnapped her, didn't you? Please don't hurt me. Kaido, stop. What's wrong with you? There's no need to resort to violence. Here, help me stop Kaido. Right. Let go of me. She took her. She took Mew. Or even if she didn't, she knows something. Enough, you need to calm down. Kaido, there's no need to hurt anyone. Relax. Fine, I'll stop. Let go of me. What a relief. Hehehe. <laughs> She's sowing discord. I don't trust her. All right, everybody. Chatting's nice and all, but how much time have you got to spare? Yeah, we really should be getting to the tower. What about you, Kaido? I've got to find Mew, so come on, let's get this over with. Whoa! Hey, relax. You don't have to get so worked up over every little thing. What an incorrigible brute. You said it. So what do we do? I mean, it's either we believe Kaido or this woman, right? She's right. Mommy's right. To be honest, I'm not sure how much I trust her, but if she knows the way to the tower, it'd be great if she could show us. That'd be, that's a good point. Regardless of who we believe, we have to keep our goal in mind. Yeah, it'd be great to have a guide. I thought I'd hate to get lost out here. But did, did Nagumon and the others already make it up there? Oh, well, I don't know the way. What? You don't? I apologize if we misled you, but we saw the tower from afar. You mean we could have gotten lost at any time? That just makes us even better. We can even have her show us the way. 
Let's do that. We sure don't want to get lost. Wait, do you actually want to trust this liar? That's the monster that kidnapped Mew. I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Oh, great, here we go again. Takuma, I think it's time we made a decision. So Wen knows the way to the tower, but she does seem kind of suspicious. Kaido's a friend, but he's not making much sense. It seems pretty hung up on about Mew. Hmm. This seems like the big bridging part. This seems like an it'll actually affect things. Because... Aoi said that she's suspicious. Shuji said that we, he doesn't know, but it would be good to have a guide. But she's obviously being very odd. I trust Kaido. You guys just don't get it. Whatever, I'll find you even if that means I have to do it alone. But I sided with you. So long, then. But I sided with you. But hey, you can't just leave. Man, I wish he wasn't so stubborn. I'll go reason with him. You guys go on ahead. Takuma, not you too. Don't you walk off like that. You can get to the tower just fine without Agumon and me. But it might take a while to talk some sense into Kaido, so meanwhile, check things out. Okay. Right, you got it, Takuma. Uh, Haru Miku? Miyaku? Your name hurts me. Man, if I don't hurry, I'm gonna lose Kaido. I can't stop to argue about this. Fine, but stay with me, okay? Let's go, Agumon. Okay, I think the answer to this is, if I didn't choose- if I chose the woman, we would have gone with her. But choosing Kaido, I go with him to talk to him. Hey there, we meet again! What's up? Huh? What are you doing coming after me? Don't give me that. Why do you always have to act on your own? Hey, you're the one who followed me. What do you call that? Not letting a friend go off on his own? When I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again? Oh, is that so? And what about the half pints? They are backup? Half pints? Oh, right, you haven't met these two yet. This is Haru and this is Miyuki. We've been sticking together. Yoroshiko? Sure, whatever. Just remember, you're the one who wanted to follow me. You better not slow me down. Ooh, Trackman joined the party. What do you think, Agumon? So, Agumon, what do you make of that woman who met her? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, I mean, she seems suspicious, but I'd hate to doubt her without any reason. Oh, yeah? You sure are nice, Takuma. Nah, that's not called being nice, Agumon. That's called being indecisive. Ouch, pretty harsh. Look, Takuma, I want you to remember this. If something important to you is on the line, don't think, act. Because once it's gone, whatever you do, it'll be too late. Right, I'll keep that in mind. See, that's solid advice! Alright, there's a suspicious thicket over there. Got big bandage! And another scannable. Ooh, boost seed. Boost a seed. Hey, Drachmon, what do you say? I didn't mention it before, but I thought that woman was real suspicious. Why do you think that? She'd get this nasty look in her eyes, but only when she was looking at one of you. Now you tell us. Why didn't you say something sooner? What do you mean by nasty? It was that look of a predator. The look of a hunter, a thief, or a carnivorous beast. It was full of the kind of disdain only something like that could feel for its prey. Sounds pretty scary. If that's what she's really like, that would mean the others are in real danger. Nah, they've got her outnumbered. She won't try anything unless something big changes. I hope you're right. It's a pretty clear cut just for a game, uh, for just a game trail. Do humans have a hand in this? The path seems to be heading towards the summit. Lots of scannables. Ribs! <gasps> Reminds me of that skeleton joke. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? Ribs! Prime ribs! Just going off on the human. I guess first I'll talk to Haru. Why'd you want to come along? It's nice being out on a hike. Yes, nice. The breeze is so warm. Yes, warm. That's uh, Kuma. Are they always like this? Pretty much. This is actually a lot of talking for them. You don't say. Man, some people sure are weird. Hey, what do you think that cloud looks like? 
A cloud. Then how about that one? A cloud. This rock sure looks weird. Yeah, weird. What's it look like to you? A rock. <laughs> I'm starting to like how those two talk to each other. They get along so well. I guess as long as it's fun for them, that's all that matters. Oi! 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 I didn't... I didn't get to talk to everything. Oh, it's an actual cable car! What a curious device. And they're gonna have to go up one by one, maybe. Let's every bit as run down and decrepit as that school. Does this thing actually work? The cars run automatically on a schedule. One should be here soon. How do you know this? The, my friends are idiots! Wait, you mean there's electricity in here? There wasn't any at the school. I bet it's some other, wor other weird power source. Not so far-fetched compared to our little pals. So this thing runs automatically? Are you sure it won't drop us halfway at the top? What? There's no way I'm getting on that thing. Yeah, fall from that high night. You might be done for. We could fall? That would be terrible. We'd better not ride on that then. Don't worry, the cars and the cable are both quite sturdy. Nothing's ever broke the- How do you know? You've never been here! You were using this as a fucking landmark for movement! All of you are fools! If there's no one else here, I'd expect there would at least be a maintenance worker. No, I never found anyone else. Is that a problem? No, just something I was wondering about. Ali, you're not still suspicious, are you? Because she, she's been telling the truth. No, she isn't, you idiot! You fuck! Isn't it about time we started trusting her? I'm not so sure. Well, just look at Riel. He seems to have warmed up right to her. Yes, the most insane of the group has warmed up to her. See, what's not to trust? She's been nothing but helpful. And that's after the way Kaio treated her. She's got to be really nice, I suppose. You're all idiots. Hey, everyone, the car's here. All of you are fools. All of you are idiots. I've never ridden on a cable car before. This is kind of exciting. Get in, everybody. This will take us straight to the tower. How do you know? Nobody... Why is nobody have smarts? I'm worried about Minoru and the others, but I can only go ahead with Kaido for now. But what about that suspicious thicket? Yeah, I can still look. Takuma, Takuma, I found something! Now, this is useful. Thanks, Agumon. <laughs> Hey, when did you ever find anything? What? I've had my hands full looking from you. Go find stuff like that on your own. Hey, watch your mouth. Got more boost seed. But yeah, that was weird that I talked to them and then immediate cutscene. Instead of letting me like do everything is like so I don't know if things actually like super reset or what and there's so many scannables why they're all like ribs and boost seeds everything's hell and then you're important again Man, am I bored. I wish we'd get attacked or something. Hey, don't say things like that. I prefer not getting attacked. You don't get it. Boredom is like a poison. It saps your will to live, slowly pulling you towards death. Stop creeping me out, would you? Don't let him get to you, Takuma. He likes to mess with people, so he'll say random stuff and wait for a reaction. Hey, that's not fair. I very often mean every word that I say. And did you mean what you said just now? Nope. Let's see. <laughs> well, it's clear you two get along. Well, I guess I'll talk to Kaido now. Look, isn't that... Yeah, if we keep going this way, we'll end up at that cable car platform. I can't believe this. We just went the long way. Who knew we'd wind up at the same spot? I didn't get to talk to the kids again. Odd. Weird. You're all gonna die. You're all a bunch of idiots. 
Why am I the only one with brains? Hey, we're not out for, we're not out here for the fun of it. Try to stay alert. Oh, relax, Shuji. We're practically there. What's the harm of having a little fun? But but disaster could strike at any moment. We must remain vigilant. Oh, you're so strict. Don't you get tired being on high alert all the time? I I hate heights. <laughs> it's all right, everyone. We're almost there. When we get to the tower, our cell phone should work. Then we can call for help. And this whole wilderness survival nightmare will finally be over. Yeah, soon it will all be over. How come none of them ever... All of them believing her lies like a bunch of fools. Why, indeed. He he he. But why do you... If you want something done right, I suppose you must do it yourself. Uh, did you just... You know, I really am grateful to all of you. I feel like I should thank you. Ah, oh, you don't mention it. Honestly, I'm not even sure why you feel that way. Why? Because even if that one little brat got away, now you're all here instead. And there are so many of you. I can't thank you enough. But what's gotten into you? Oh, you know. The fucking thing that's been on her fucking face this entire time. I don't get it. Oh, you know, she's a monster in disguise, like Kaito had pinned from the start. Idiots. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure to catch your other little friend too. What are you talking about, mommy? Although I suppose this is the end of the line for you. Sudden stop. Oh, okay. Is everyone okay? Oh boy, there's fog. What happened? I hit my head. It seems like nobody has any major injuries. It's just me or does something seem wrong? The car, it's not moving. Th that woman, she's gone. What, seriously? Wow, who would have thought? You're all a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah. Real. Behind you. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. I, I knew it would be you, honestly. <laughs> Something inside me to kind of had that feeling. You do kind of remind me of the spider lady from O2. <laughs> Bunches oh, of fools. A spider? Oh. Again? What is this thing? A demon? A demon spider woman? Oh no, 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 no! It's huge! Wait, what happened to that woman? Not very bright, are you? Who's my disguise just that good? Don't you know better than to trust a stranger? She's smiling. So creepy! I am Arokinimon. But don't worry, you won't need to remember my name for long. Because you're all about to die. Yes, I'll offer up everyone in this box of sacrifices. Oh no, what are we gonna do, Shuji? This is why I didn't want to go exploring! <laughs> Poor Lopman. No, no, mommy! That's not, that's not my mommy. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Are you gonna crack and kill her in one move? Yeah, Mommy's buddy. out here. Damn it. Come on, Ryo, I was trusting in you. And now I have to go save everyone. A fucking gen. So obviously these two are Digimon in disguise. Oh, Milky, what is it? Mm, is something wrong? Are you gonna tell me? Th what are you looking at, Milky? Looks like a cable car. It stopped, popped way up. Looks like everyone's trapped inside. Wait, so this is all that woman's plan? Ha! Huh, I knew it. She was a monster. What I tell you? What's going to happen to them? We need to get over there and save them. Right. Let's go. Count me in. I'm gonna smash that monster woman's face in. Come on, Drakmon! You got it! Oh yeah, I forgot. He looks with his fucking hands. But did anyone believe me? No. Don't trust me. 
You're the reason this whole world is falling apart. That's not your voice. By, by sacrificing human children, we can prevent its destruction. We will be saved. I thought all might be, I thought all might be lost when that little girl with the hat got away. But now I can offer up all of you instead. Looks like we're going to traversing these spiderwebs. So wait. This is that woman? A sneak attack, huh? What a coward! Takuma, get ready for some action. We're gonna stomp this giant bug and save everyone! Right. Let's do this, Agumon! Oh no, don't trust me. I'm just intelligent and smart. Obviously. My biggest, baddest mon. Okay, I need to have this play smart. They're viruses, so I don't want to digivolve. A little help here! What a pain. Hold your horses, we're coming to help! I'm closest, so my guess I'm up first. Let me at him! Let me take a look around. What the hell is that? Phasmin, so it's no, it says it's an all-rounder. What about you? An organic. So either you're a neutral type Digimon, you do have movement. And there's chests. Hmm. Well, head on in there and start bashing things up, Growlmon. Moving pair. I think I might send Agumon up purely to try and stop things from getting too crazy. There are. There is a big one. Okay, good. You're not trying to steal my chest. Phasmin. I need to save my stuff. I have nightmares. 15 and you have 110. No, I'll try it just a chance to do damage. That is not a lot of damage. Wait, oh no, I was like, oh, you can, you can evolve. Okay, I didn't expect that. Definitely did evolve then. Didn't expect you to have that already. I think I'll go here. Aha! Fools. Open themselves straight up. No, they're going for a back attack. Nope, a side attack. Get them out. Ah, Bloodsucker, so you heal from attacks. Cool. I'll go ahead and de digivolve you so that you can save up some SP. And 
go ahead and blast away. Well, that's not good. But it can't get behind me, so it can only do a side attack. And luckily we have lots of bandages, so hopefully things won't be terrible. so much, so I can't do too, too much. Oh. Well, he's gonna get annihilated. Unless we can digivolve and try and get there. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to have the ability to deal damage this turn. Nope. Nope, won't kill. Damn it, neither of them kill. But I could try and digivolve, even that... Because, let's try. want to deal damage. Yeah. You're just an annoyance, little man. And now he's poisoned. Yep, and he'll Venom Blast his back, so that's not good. But doesn't do too much damage. We'll de digivolve just cuz as we plan our next move. And we haven't been taking too much damage, so I think we'll actually move you over here to attack the chest. Venom trap obtained. Heals everyone in the area. I'm gonna big bandage. See, I can't do anything. It's in a bad position, but not as terrible. to get up here, if at all possible. He can survive another round. He just needs to kill this thing and then heal again. Kill. Keep the evolution. I kind of want to ink out the the small ones, if at, uh, if at all possible. 
Okay, we're gonna do more big bandage because we have lots of big bandage. As we go for that chest. And maybe the phasma heal thingy. Let's see, can we talk to... Nope, not one. Can we talk to anyone? Nope, we cannot. And I guess we'll also de-digivolve so we can start gaining SP back. Yes, come to me and die. go. Do it. It'll take a bit to get Graumon and others back up to help with the main fight anyway. Going to go ahead and digivolve. What about Sticker Blade? Do as much damage as you can. Yeah, I'll go this way. Just to uh, be paranoid. Good, he's not even coming after. But he will go for a side attack because he's an. Oh no, he's going for a back attack. I forgot that. Luckily, he went for Growlmon, who's my strongest beater in this game. into red particles. Oh yeah, we also have ribs. Well, I'll start using some bandages. Hmm. I'll try to bait them in. Oh, because I used an item, so that technically doesn't allow me to... Well, that's kind of silly. That's not what I wanted, game. Wanted to go all the way. Luckily, they allow you to undo movement, which is a godsend. Thank you, developers. You are good people. Ooh, we can only move one? That's interesting. That's not even small bandage worthy, you idiot. as much damage as possible. Hell yeah. I'll come from the side and blast you with an exhaust flame. Meanwhile, Agumon's up here. Just Really, I should have sent all three of them down, but brain went bleh. Is that all you know how to do? <laughs> Blast her away. Well, I guess her, technically, the minions destroy and heal. I thought it was done for. Thanks for the save. Oh, do we get a full team now? At least some backups. And they get backups too. 
That's not good. No, then time for a little payback. I played very suboptimally then. Alright, we can finally get this out, hopefully. Please don't have health. You have one health, now die. Speed break plus. Let's see, can we actually... Yeah, this is a place, but only Diatramon... His evolution could go up there. Everyone else will probably have to... Was that count or was it one ledge? Yeah, it's definitely a two ledge. Is there any one ledge? There is no one ledge anywhere. So if everyone will have to go back. Do as much damage, even if it does mean de digivolving. In which case, I'll go ahead and de digivolve. Because he's not going to be able to do it. Need to head on over. Let's go ahead and smack this fool. It is a 100% accuracy, so kill. Go ahead and evolve. We need as much as we can. Yeah, avoid the tree. Try to get that little fiend out of here. I think I'll go for the all heal down here. Or at least I think it's an all heal. Oh, good, yes. Go after him, you fool. Your annihilation is imminent. I swear if that starts attacking my boy, I'm gonna get annoyed. Just absolutely devastate this fool. Actually... Uh, I'll go ahead and de digivolve you so as not to waste your SP. So everyone will take a while to get back up. Okay, what's your movement? Your movement is two vertical, so you head that way. Your movement is one vertical, so you head the different way. Probably keep you down here until everybody's together. And then once you get to a better position, I'll also have you double vertical up. I mean, this should be vertical, but oh well, this will at least be a test. Right. And now we won't get any closer so as to hopefully not get her wrath. Just don't want to risk. Wait. What are your stats? Vertical movement too? Then hopefully. Nope, it's this way though. Oh, I am a big fool. I didn't even realize... The readability of this zone is a little bit odd with all of the cobwebs. But that's kind of a me problem, I suppose. Just inching. Oh, it is an attacker! No! It's a healer!
utterly amazing. Please allow us to go up here with vertical movement. I can. Hell yeah. Now this is awesome. Alright. Actually, let me see. I don't know its move, but it's probably a, th uh, yeah, a three range, so... I'll get out of the way so as not to ho hopefully not waste any more healing juice that that thing could have. Yes. Oh, they can get up without even digivolving. But probably not you. You'll probably have to digivolve next turn. I'll just wait so that everybody can get together. Everyone get together so we can swarm this monstrosity. Alright. Digivolve to get that vertical movement. Gotta get in there and go fast. Of course you get a side move. Because you're a jerk. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not very nice at all. Okay, first off, Digivolve. Get right in your face. I'll hopefully blast you for critical damage. Uh, it's not gonna make it. And we're gonna go ahead and use a bandage just in case. That's not who I wanted you to heal. Can you move? Hit the eat. You cannot. Oh, you're gonna go for the behind attack, aren't you? Which means you're gonna leave yourself open. You fool. Oh, but that could do... Okay, doesn't do as much damage. Good. You are... Oh! You have left yourself wide open to death. You are a fool. Almost 666. Axed Arukinimon. That's the achievement I got. How frustrating. For all that I was holding back, I do not like losing to these brats. She was holding back? And she was still that tough? She was doing tons of damage, but didn't have much tanking power. She was just toying with us. <laughs> not exactly. I simply wasn't motivated to fight with all I had. And I had the ceremony already, too. Oh, well. After all, I needn't be the one to make the offering. All right, enough of your babbling. What did you do with the girl you kidnapped earlier? 
Do you really still not get it? I'm under no obligation to tell you anything. So even now you're trying to pull that crap. Maybe you haven't felt enough pain. Kaido, I don't think violence is the answer here. Kidnapping murderer who wanted to murder you. Maybe she isn't telling you because she just doesn't know. What? Yeah, <laughs> aren't you a clever one? You're smarter than you look. Careful, Kaido! Kaido! Don't get too close! There's only one reason she'd be dragging this out. She's got something up her sleeve. Oh, give this one a prize. But first, let me bid you adieu. Ugh. Damn it, she got away again! That monster! Well, you did all you could. No wonder she was so smug. She was sure she could get away. She did. Well, that's why she didn't feel motivated to go all out. Who knows? Maybe there was some reason she had to pretend to put up a fight. Well, we can worry about that later. Let's focus on climbing the tower for the moment. Oh, but no. We can't listen to Takuma. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Also, if uh, Falcomon didn't have his little Healy uh, health bobble, he probably would have been annihilated to hell. And that's a lot of items. Vexi... You mean it's bigger. Taunt? So if you want to tank, that's who you give it to. I need to use these and give it to everybody. Give all of these to everyone that I mainly use. Creepy noises! Oh, I guess uh, they've got the dibbity da working after all the webs are gone. Help! Somebody help, please! I thought I heard a voice just now. You don't think it's that Arukunimon, do you? No, they were calling for help. I thought I heard it coming from around here. Well, if it's help they're after, it's help they'll get. Wait, you don't even know who it is. What if they want to take advantage of us? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. You? We're like, sure, you were a little suspicious of Arukinimon's human form, but you still win with her and didn't catch any of the warning signals, any of the red flags, and put everyone to danger and did nothing to get anybody out of it. And now you're like, don't go help people. You are a terrible leader! Yeah! Uh, don't be like that. We should help them. Shut up! Nobody asked you! You are an abusive father. Die. What if we made them agree not to attack us in exchange for our help? Yeah, but don't stop there. We could tell them to give us all their food, too. That might as well be robbery. Hey! I found him! Hey, it's a Tentamon. Help! It's Tentamon! You don't need to worry about him. The poor thing's caught in a spider web. We help, of course. We should get him out of there. Agumon, think you can cut through this thread? No problem! But you couldn't even cut through, like, the Korogomon threads, and yet you can cut through that. Oh, I'm saved! Thank you so much for helping me! Hmm, well, would you look at that? Four human children! How unusual. Four? Wait, you mean you've seen others? Right you are, and a lot smaller than the one behind you. Could that be Mew? Was she walking around by herself? Well, she'd been captured by that terrifying Orokinimon, you see. I couldn't help but take pity on the girl, so I rescued her at the first opportunity. Unfortunately, I was then discovered by Orokinimon and taken prisoner myself. <laughs> what about Mew? What happened to her? The girl? Why, she ran away. I was right behind her, so there's no doubt about that. She was headed to that shiny place, you see. Okay, great. Thanks for telling me. And for rescuing Mew in the first place. Oh my, don't even mention it. So where exactly is this shiny place? I'm not sure how to describe it. Why not climb up somewhere and see for yourselves? Hey, you think we'd be able to see it from the top of that tower? Good thinking. Let's go up and find out. Shuji is an asshole. I vote to vote him out of the island. 
I don't want to be his friend. I merely want to get close to him so I can worm out his true emotions and manipulate him into being a person I want him to be. <sighs> we finally made it. You know, I should have thought of this sooner, but how's that old cable car working? Where's the power coming from? Who's keeping it running? It doesn't make any sense. It's the same thing with the plumbing at the school. Like, how does any of this work? Who cares? All I want to know right now is where Mew went. Come on, let's go. I dig this game so much. I dig it so hard. Wind! What, what the hell is this? This doesn't make any sense. What do you see? Dead bodies? Oh, you see it. Oh, hey, this is just like in Adventure 1 where... What was his name? David? No, not... Yeah, maybe David. Got to the top of uh, a mountain to take a look around, and they realized that they were on an island. Why are we surrounded by water? This is supposed to be a mountain range. This is an island? Does that mean we actually got teleported here? This is all getting real crazy real fast. The school, the shrine, those buildings are all just like I remember. But the geography's all wrong. How did this happen? I, I can't believe this. I feel like I don't know what's what anymore. Everyone's... We've got to calm down. Uh, uh, Shuji, you seem more upset than anyone. This can't be. It's a shocking sight for all of us, but it must be worse for Kaido being local. And now he's actually speechless. What's with the ocean? What's, why is this an island? Even some of those buildings are wrong. Well, that's wow. freaky. Wow! What's that shiny thing? And that looks like a giant ring! Check it out! That building covered with steel pipes over there. I keep changing Dracomon's voice. At this point, we have to be in some other dimension, don't we? The real Isekai! Nobody's coming to save us. That's just what we'll have to accept, isn't it? You can't say that for sure. Come on, let's not give up just yet. But, but we... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rio? I knew this isn't the real world. I had a chance. <laughs> this, this is the afterlife. That, that's, it's gotta be. <laughs> Rio, come on, pull yourself together. We're all dead, all of us. But then what about mommy? Mommy's dead too. Of course. That means she's here. I knew it was her. She's here for me. Calling for me. Ryo, you're losing it. Get it together. This isn't the time or place to start panicking. In situations like this, it's important to keep a clear head and act with calm. Shut up! Lol. Dude, if anybody deserves to be hit, it's you. Did you jump? No, he's running away. Ryo, where do you think you're going? It's dangerous out there. This is bad. We have to stop him. Hopefully this will fix his head so that we can actually have him as a character. <laughs> Great, he's on the bridge. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I get it now. Mommy's here. I'm going to see Mommy. I s Please don't die. Mommy! Mommy, it's me! <laughs> Help me! Oh, you poor little boy. <laughs> Idiot. You want to see your mommy that badly? Then come right over here, you poor baby. <laughs> You're a fake! You're not my mommy! You betrayed me! Mommy would never betray me. Never! She'd be there to save me, no matter what! Don't you see? I'm gonna meet my mommy, you got that! Mommy, save me! What? Have you lost your mind completely? Shut up! I'm not talking to you! What is going on in your head, Ryo? Mommy, I've tried so hard for so long. I've been wanting to see you so badly. He's... Yep, he's insane. My, my, what a shame. I do believe this child is broken. Now what do I do with him? I suppose I have to perform the ritual and offer him as a sacrifice. How would that make him part of this world? Yes, I suppose he'll just have to die. Cyclone Mon, come here, would you? <gasps> yes, Lady Arukini Mon. 
Kill this boy for me, would you? It should be easy enough. I'll leave it to you. Yes, my lady. Very good. I shall return to the altar then. He's yours. I will kill the boy. And then Kunemon will digivolve. <laughs> Dude, you are kind of pathetic right now. Stay still. You're so hard to hold. I'll drop you from here. That'll kill you for sure. Shut up. Take this. Don't tell me he's actually going to fucking die. Okay, good. He just got punched. Stupid boy. Time to end you. We finally caught up. <laughs> what is that thing? A huge one-eyed monster? That is Cyclone Mon, a brute concerned only with his own power. Don't let the size him scare you, he's a total buffoon. <laughs> is Ryo still alright? He's trying to resist, he's still okay. Then we need to save him fast. I'm scared, but I'll do my best. What Kunemon said. Kunemon says he wants to save Ryo. We're on it. Don't worry, Kunemon, we'll save him. Haru, Miyuki, stay back. This could be dangerous. They do not care. All right, we can only throw in three. Hmm. Why are you mandatory? That's my question right now. Hmm. I'll actually use you so I can digivolve you. Oh, hey, it's a Betamon, too. Oh. I guess we'll go this way to destroy the chest. Oh, you're actually coming forward. Destroy the chest. Saint Knuckles obtained. That's a move that we'll probably have to assign to someone. They're actually starting to move forward. Good. What? Saki. Come on, Saki. We should help too. Uh, yeah, you're right, Floramon. Hmm. Puny little. Uh, you. Me? You are holding back. You only pretend to fight hard. What? No. You do not care about this one. So you pretend. Get lost. You are a nuisance. No, I... I... Saki, keep it together! Do I... Do I really not want to save Ryo? Am I holding the others back? I don't know. I just don't know. Saki, don't let him get to you. I know better than anyone how much you care. Do you really not want to save one of your friends? I don't know. I just... I don't know anymore. I did it because it was the good thing to do. I didn't want the others to hate me. But did I really care about Ryo's feelings? I don't know what I was supposed to do. Saki, it's okay. Floramon? Don't worry, you have an amazing heart. Just do what it tells you. That's all you need to do. But my heart tells me. Ask yourself, Saki. Is it telling you to stop right now? What is my heart telling me? No, it's telling me does not to stop. One of my friends... Silence! Phone! One of my friends is suffering right in front of me. And I'm not about to just sit here and watch. Floramon, lend me your strength. <laughs> That's the way, Saki. And now you digivolve. I was expecting Kunemon to digivolve through this one, but I guess it explains why you were mandatory. 
Digivolve. Florum. <laughs> You're the only one to really say that, I think. Oh, wrong button. Uh, kind of an odd place for Saki. You'd think this would be Kunemon's place. Oh, really? It's gonna be the ugly one? This does not feel like a Floramon Digivolution. Vegemon! The strength of your convictions has made me evolve to Vegemon! And now my strength matches what's in your heart! And right here we go! I hope you're ready for this, Cyclone Mon! Tech do you have? Of course you do. Time to digivolve. Does not do much. We have lots of SP though. Take damage, so he'll die when he dares get up. Go to the side all you want. You're still a fool who will die, and you missed. Lol, you're pathetic. We'll all gather up, force him to come here. I guess I'll go ahead and make sure that you die. Be gone. That's not good. Can we annihilate him in one go? Very annoying that you are so strong. Mm, no real good place to go. does it cost to do that? Might as well get you out of here. Okay, good. He's not ganging up on just one. But that does do a lot of damage. Don't you dare. 
I probably should have brought Falcom on. Lol, you missed again. Little missing man. I'm gonna gang up on you now. Then I'll try to do that. What's the thing? The South Pack. And it'll only affect the good guys. Go here so I can try to catch that Gotsamon. Okay, he ran away. He's going after Kunemon again because he's an asshole. I'm just gonna do it again. Because you are the biggest pain in the butt. Oh, now you're going to run away? Mm. Uh, cut it out! This is bad. Cyclone Monster was strong. We can't let it stop us. We've got to save Ryo. Come on, oh, come on. Keep it up! Right! Could it Take this! Whoa, Cyclone Monster's attack shook the whole bridge. He's going to fall. The bolt. What the? F it looked like you pushed him. You jumped in? Okay, I did not expect that. I trust you much more now, Haru. No way. They fell off the bridge. No, Haru. I've got to go save them. Time to wrap this up now. Right. Are you going to digivolve to your next level? Or is it just finish him off time? You have pissed me off. Die. Fuck you. You want to die to poop? Is that it? Is that your fucking fetish? Well, you can die to poop, dude. Crushed Cyclone Mon. Achievement that I got. Yep. Yeah. It was just better to focus down the strong one rather than risk him chipping away at my heels. I just thought it would be important to have. I also keep forgetting to actually put these things on. Like the better crystals and stuff. I'm dumb. Who's this? Oh, he's done. <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh, right, that the monster dropped me and I I died. Huh? Wait, no, I'm alive? alive? But how? I was up so high. Ghost boy. Are you gonna appear right where you weren't supposed to be? Yeah. Ah! Oh, oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that, you miserable little brat! Oh, that's the thanks I get for saving you. You you saved me. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, whatever. Not that I care about you anyway. What was that? I don't have to take that from some little brat! Oh, God. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't look at me like that! Like I said, I don't care about you. Not at all. <laughs> You're a monster! Help me, mommy! <laughs> ah! 
You probably shouldn't try to move. You may not have died, but you were injured. Uh, mommy, save me! Wait, that's right. Not my phone. No, you don't. Why isn't it working? Why? Poor guy. Why do you want to return to the real world? <laughs> I don't belong here. This isn't my world. Too many the others all hate me. I know because they'll treat me like dead weight. They try to use those monsters of this to get rid of me. Huh? Is that how it looks to you? That's why I want to go back. Back to my world. Back to my home. But it's okay. Any minute now, I feel certain that I'll be saved. Just how long are you going to keep deluding yourself? You should know better than anyone that your mother is never going to call you. <laughs> yes, that's right. Mommy was always sick. I wanted to spend more time with her, but the doctor said no. I tried so hard. Whenever I was lonely, she'd be so. She'd tell me to be strong, but, but those, those were her last words. Yes, that's right. Mommy's dead. Of course, she's not going to call. Of course. Not. <laughs> He's losing his mind again. Yes, now I get it. Now it all makes sense. I've died and this is the after. He is super crazy still. <laughs> Why are you so insane? This kid's done for. He's completely snapped. Ah, oh, there you are. But I'm afraid you're too late. Wait, I think I see something something in the fog. Yeah. Great. You can see for yourself your precious Rio has lost all touch with reality. God damn it, Rio. Rio! Haru! Here, I found them. They're both okay. Oh, what a relief. Oh, Saki, your face is a mess from all those tears. I'm so glad we found them, though. <laughs> yes, and now we must make haste. The fog is starting to spread. Uh, it got me crazy, but is Rio running into the fog? Utterly lost his mind. Rio, it doesn't sound like he's doing too well. Yeah, I thought I heard him laughing. Oh no, guys, it's not looking good. The fog is getting real dense. You're right, this is bad. Ryo, Haru, you're both in danger. Get over here, quick. What's that? Looking to where Ali's pointing, I see a black shadow. Am I seeing things? It looks like some sort of tentacle came out of that shadow. No way, it's heading straight for Ryo. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that thing looks really bad news. Of course we'll help. Agumon, isn't there anything we can do? Not, not a thing. That's just how it works. But no. Ryo, what's wrong with you? Get out of there! I think he's saying something. God damn it, Ryo. God damn it, Ryo. Huh? Is he dead? It doesn't feel like there was any way to stop that from happening, which is dumb. Ever so slightly, if you ask me. Because that's the kind of thing where the emotional impact is lessened because it's just like, well, goddammit, didn't give me a chance to stop that. Especially if the splats kind of implies that he's super dead. Somehow in a way that I don't fully understand, I can tell that Kunemon is sad. Not Kunemon too. 
He's disappearing. It can't be. Kunemon's disappearing. Wait, hold on. Ryo still has to be there, right? No. What? Miy Miyuki? Why is she shaking her head like that? She told me I should give up? Haru. What happened to Ryo was he gave up on himself. So this world consumed him. Even after the fog lifted and the shadow vanished, there was still no sign of Ryo. I'm not really sure what Haru meant by what he told me, but I do know one thing for certain. The game fucking cheated me out of my shit. Ryo is dead. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, oh, you get to make choices. Apparently not. Doesn't feel like it. After all that, Shuji eventually got us to calm down and we returned to the school. Leave it to Suji to step up in a situation like that and get us all back to safety. Kaido was next to recover. He was all ready to go to the amusement park and find Mew. But the rest of us managed to convince him to come back to the school instead. Shuji made the case. Oh, I, I accidentally clicked it. Black. And after seeing what happened to Ryo, even Kaido must have realized the need for caution. Everyone else was pretty upset and shaken from having witnessed Ryo's death. It was dark by the time we got back and we were exhausted. Nobody bothered with dinner. The others mostly seemed to collapse into sleep, though I found that impossible. My mind kept coming back to the same thought. Surely there must have been something more I could have done. That's exactly what I'm feeling. It just feels very no annoying. That it's just like, it feels like there was no way to save the boy. It's like, that's the thing. It, it kind of cheapens the game a bit because the entire kind of premise is supposed to be like, oh, by your choices, you can save or they will die. And part of the appeal of these kinds of games is that you do get the chance to save them. Sure, there will be some like uh, in, say, Mass Effect 3 that are doomed by the plot to some extent. But the mere fact that it's this kind of early in the game and they're like, haha, here's a death. When they kind of, and they didn't give you a chance, like, they spent all that time, like, hey, level up this Digimon and with this character, which I guess is supposed to kind of highlight it a bit, but it would have hit more if they just made it really hard to save him. But I don't think there was a way. Like, I genuinely believe that there is no way to save Ryo. Because there wasn't, like, any kind of anything. Even though it says here, surely there must have been something more I could have done. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. It just feels very meh. So, by the understanding... I'm going to assume that Shuji is going to be the next person I can't save. Why? Because he shares so many characteristics with Ryo. Kind of stubborn and doesn't want to help. Is constantly going on about somebody who's dead. For Ryo, it was his mother. For Shuji, it was the professor. And also, they were both mean to their Digimon. So I guess I'm going to neglect Shuji because there's no way I'm going to be able to save him, I assume. Maybe if we'd all worked together, if we'd been more determined or... Just feels mega meh.
you know? It kind of hurts the game a little, in my opinion. It's supposed to. Because, like, again, that's the great thing about Mass Effect. They were able to go through and pretty much save 99% of the people in the game. But this one, no, you don't get to. And this one, the boy just dead. Because it doesn't feel like there was a good, like, a... Uh, especially because... Like, I don't know, it just feels meh. Mimity, mimity, meh. I'm gonna say cooperation. Maybe if we'd all found a way to communicate and work together, we could have saved him. Or maybe I didn't, like, uh, go in on a certain stat. Like, But again, it just feels like... Especially considering that I got his affinity up so much... That it should have... Meant something, but it doesn't feel like it. So I guess affinity maybe doesn't mean anything. Again, it, it really hurts the storytelling when... Because like, it would be one thing if this was a linear story. If this was, like, maybe a fire emblem or something. In which your choices... Like, you don't get choices. It's just the game scenario, and then you follow the story. That would be one thing. But to have it just be, oh, yeah, this guy, he's dead now. With seemingly no reason or anything. Is annoying. Because I don't think there's a way. It's bliggity bleh. Just bliggity bliggity bleh. Because now I'm just afraid that it will go on. So it's just like, bleh, 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 bleh. And even though it's like, maybe we could have, no, I don't believe you, game. You have lost my sympathy, because like, because if it is a matter of, oh, you needed more of this, like, harmony, moral, or wrathfulness stat, or you didn't have enough affinity with him, maybe, but it's just like, it feels very finicky if it's that, if it's that. Other games that are like, your choices matter, make it pretty explicit when choices matter. And in this case, it feels like I had no choice. So this game about the characters living and dying by my choice feels less like that. And it just feels very, very meh. Hopefully that's just a... Lol, see? We serious, even though Kunemon's dead now, and maybe that's the reason they did Kunemon like they did. They didn't want to pay someone a lot of money voice acting a character that was going to die super early in the game. But I don't believe you, game. I think Ryo is predetermined to die, and there's no reason to use Kunemon. That also explains why Kunemon is kind of shit. That explains why Kunemon is kind of shit. Because his movement was kind of bad, and he was the only virus type, come to think of it, of the main party. But yeah, this feels very meh to me. No, it wouldn't have mattered. See, even the game says it. The game is saying that it doesn't matter what you do, Ryo is doomed. So yeah, Ryo might actually be my least favorite character right now for the fact that his character just goes off the rails. Because he goes from kind of a, yeah, I'm a punk guy to being a worthless coward who doesn't do anything. And it's like, I did all of, because I did all of the nice things. I did all of the nice options. I encouraged him and brought him back to reality when prompted and interacted with him quite a bit. And the game's still like, oh, nope, you couldn't save him. Just feels lame. Even if we've been able to do something, Agumon and the others were frozen with fear. It's starting to get cold. If I stay like this, I'll probably end up getting sick. Even if I can't sleep, maybe I should just lie down for a while. 
Maybe Ryo will show up later, but no, he's become a part of this world. Kunemon's gone. This feels very meh. Feels bothersome. Agumon? Takuma, are you alright? You seem kind of out of it. My friend is dead. Because of the game, Agumon. Okay. There must have been something we could have done to save him. Maybe if we just started earlier? I knew when he couldn't open up to Kunemon, when he got so scared of Takugamon. How he acted in that classroom on the trail or even just talking with him was clear. I knew he was struggling, but I didn't help him. I picked all the right answers with him. I just let him suffer. Fuck you, game. There's no way to save him. What do you think might have changed things, Takuma? I just wish he'd face his fears. I wish Ryo had been able to conquer some of his fears. If he hadn't been so afraid, if he had the courage to face up to things, he would have been able to find a place for himself here. But it's not like I've got all the answers. Who knows if what I did was right or what I should have done differently. Not me, that's for sure. Takuma, I can tell that you're hurting. You're right, Agumon. I hurt so much. What's worse is that even after losing Ryo, there's no clear way out of this. Arukinimon is still after us. Maybe that amusement park is crawling with enemies. Unless we have been transported to some other world, is there even a way back? I don't know. I just don't know. What are we even supposed to do? Takuma, listen. I may not know much, but I do know one very important thing. Is that if you try, Takuma... You can do anything. Whether you team up with the others or just blindly press on, in the end you'll succeed. <laughs> Where's this coming from? I'm not that special. But you are, Takuma, I know it. And I believe in you. Agumon. Thanks. That actually makes me feel better. Maybe now I'll be able to get some sleep. Really? Then I'm glad. Good night, Agumon. But yeah, even the game said he didn't get close to Kunemon. Sh Shuji is dead. Shuji's fucking dead. He's harsher to Lopmon than Ryo ever was to Kunemon. Shuji is fucking dead. Without me doing anything. Nice pointed shoes, idiot. I did find the human children, but you see, my servants all proved so incompetent. You allowed them to escape. Clearly you lack sufficient devotion to our master. No, it wasn't my fault. I would never. Next time I'll get them for sure. I'll capture all of those human children and offer them up to our master without fail. Yet the altar was prepared. Did you not perform the sacrifice? Have you own, not only let the children escape, but also failed to provide an offering? Well, actually, that wasn't me. Someone must have beat me to the punch. Yet you did not confirm who this was, or if indeed they made the sacrifice. I did not. Several children will soon remain. Next time, they won't be so lucky. If you're not up to this task on your own, I could always have Mega Seedramon help you. No doubt he would similarly motivate to prove his devotion to our master. First, let me try. No, I assure you, I'm quite up to the task. I may, I won't be needing any help from Monzeman or Mega Seedramon. Those children will not escape me a second time, you'll see. Ah, get out of my way! Dear me, how crass. A Garurumon? That's e Are you evil? Wait. So if you exist, that means Haru isn't dead. I still don't know if the professor's dead or not. Because, you know, the classic adage. Uh, bibbidi bop. Uh, don't turn your back on the body. No body. They probably ain't dead. 
But at the same time, it was very bloody and Kunemon went poof, so... Ryo's dead unless he becomes a part of this world and becomes a Digimon or something. Tell me, Garurumon, what brings an outsider like yourself to speak with us? I heard those traitors who got strong, uh, by teaming up with the humans have turned on us. Oh, and what of it? Haha, <laughs> just what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna crush them all. Um, as if a brute force will help you accomplish anything. You're such an idiot. What? Are you still up to your old tricks, refusing to fight your own battles, ha? Huh? Spoken like a true simpleton. Only a fool would insist on fighting their own battles. Bah! You make me sick. Every last one of you. Enough of this. Hey, she started it. This gets us nowhere, and I see no need for cooperation. Do as you wish. Huh, as if you'd, I'd ever do anything else. So long. So yeah, that's probably Gabumon from the prologue. Digivolved up. Well, what a surprise. He shows up, picks a fight, and leaves. Are you sure we can trust him? His skills are undeniable, and he holds a grudge against human children, that's clear. More importantly, heed my words, Arukinimon. Our master will not tolerate any more failure. I am well aware of that. Who do you take me for? So long as you know. There will be no more second chances. Remember, it's not just Monzemon and Megasidramon here. There are countless others who could take your place. If you need help, just ask. This is so infuriating! How could those little brats do this to me? You do this to yourself. <laughs> well, alright then. They can just wait yeah. and see. So that means that... Stop! No! Not that way! Ryo, come back! Okay, but... That also implies that when the hands grabbed Miyuki, Miyuki died. So, Haru is... And again, the ghost face Haru thing was weird. Bleh. Ah, ah. It was just a dream. Okay, I gotta say, profile. It still says his affinity's there, but he's dead. So why is he appearing here? So I guess that means that even... So this is unreliable. So Ryo's dead, and in subsequent playthroughs I should kind of neglect him. I woke up from a nightmare this morning, drenched in sweat, my hands still shaking. It's not surprising I had a lot on my mind last night, and sleep did not come easy. Not after watching Ryo die right in front of us yesterday. But beyond the terror of watching someone die for the first time, seeing that strange tentacle reach out and grab him was just awful. Just thinking back on it now sends a shiver down my spine. But I shouldn't let myself dwell on it. Not after how Agumon cheered me up last night. Wait, where is Agumon? And everyone else for that matter. But yeah, again, I'm just going to assume that Ryo is actually dead. And that it's not a fake out because again, Kunemon went poof. I'm going to assume that Garurumon is the Gabumon from the prologue. But at the same time, when Miyuki was taken by the tentacles, Renamon didn't automatically go poof in the prologue. So maybe Renamon's still kicking about. So it is maybe it's possible that Haru did save. Miyuki somehow? But they still act very weird and there's still the Haru ghost face. Or maybe Haru and Miyuki somehow became part of the digital world itself as well. 
in a different way? I don't know. But weird things. Very disappointing of the game to pull something like that in a, oh, your choices matter. Apparently not. Then all the more reason to get moving. We need to figure out what comes next. It's not too late, so maybe the others are still in the cafeteria. I'd better go see. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We did a lot of progress. Got to an annoying part, and yep, Kunemon is motherfucking gone. So, it's kind of odd because Kunemon does have a, like, main character, like, the, it's kind of weird, like, all of them have, like, very simple Digivolution trees. Seemingly. Most of them have very simple Digivolution trees. So, it's kind of odd that Kunemon... Yeah. But yeah. Still very much an annoyance to me and really puts me off the game ever so slightly. Not enough to like stop playing it, but definitely enough to make me go, oh, so my choices kind of don't matter. My choices ever so slightly do not matter because the story, if the story wants a character dead, they're dead. You can pump, pump as much affinity as you want into them, it seems. Like, again, unless it is a very specific thing of you need to pick all the right dialogue options with him and have a specific affinity, like, like get his affinity up, and then have a specific, like, moral uh, kindness and wrathfulness... Unless it's some kind of thing like that, I don't really think that the game will be kind. And that's also why I think that Shuji is the next to die. Like, by plot demand. I'm sure that other characters will become at risk and I'll need to fulfill certain conditions to be able to save them. But, who knows, maybe somebody on the internet has saved Ryo, or will find a way to save Ryo, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it unless it's a very niche, oh, you have to do, unless it's a guide dang it situation, I do not see Ryo being at all, like, interesting to me, then. He's just a... Wuss. And again, I picked all of these. I got his affinity up decently. And it just felt odd. That the game then went, oh yeah, and he still dies. So yeah, unless it's a guy, dang it, he feels like a plot mandatory death. That is what it feels like. It doesn't feel like any other, like, uh... It just feels disappointing. Like, the character didn't get to do anything. But again, it kind of makes... I also just realized something. Lopmon seems to have the least amount of lines now. Kind of like how Kunemon had the least amount of lines. Because basically, my thought process goes that Drachmon is pretty chatty, Agumon, Drachmon, uh, not, we already talked about Drachmon, but Falcomon, Saki's uh, Floramon, Labramon, they're all very chatty. Lopmon isn't. So I kind of feel that if anybody is going to die by plot demands, it feels like Shuji is going to be the next one just off the top of my head. Especially because he seems to be the more dysfunctional right now. 
because Minoru has his like survivalist instincts and he also has Falcomon there to drag him back. Maybe Saki is at risk because Floramon, no, because Floramon digivolved. That's another thing. Floramon digivolved. Kunemon never did. And I do not feel like Shuji is going to connect with Lopmon enough for it to be anything. And we'll just run into Lopmons in the future. And that will be very weird. Yeah, Lopmon's gonna fucking die because Shuji's a jackass. Shuji is gonna be the next to die. I just know it. And that's, like, a disappointing. Because it built itself on, Ooh, kids in Digimon can die. Your choices matter. And then it kind of feels like they, it doesn't with that. And it's like, if you want to do that, you kind of can't put the, oh, your choices matter, in my opinion. This isn't like Danganronpa, where characters are, like, expected to die in that setting. This is... This felt like it was going to be more interesting than... Sorry, no savey. Which is disappointing to me. It's just disappointing that... And again, I browsed the achievements just a little bit on the, like, uh, if you, like, on Steam, if you just go to the Bibbidi Bop, just click on it, and you're like, oh, you can see, like, your achievements and the DLC you have for it. And I just hovered over the DLC, or not the DLC, I hovered over the achievements that were there just out of curiosity. Most of them were like, ooh, crush Fangmon, and, uh, or, like, finished Fangmon, and, uh leveled up a Digimon this thing or something like that. One of them was reached a fork in the, in the story. So that makes me feel like my decision didn't matter. Although that could also be more of a big, big decision that the course of the story goes. But, yeah, it's like, doesn't feel like it. Just feels meh. Feels weird. Yeah, it just feels odd. It's like maybe. B -b 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 I might do a New Game Plus run. But yeah, it just feels very meh. Because it felt like I poured a lot into Rio, And then, like, again, if we go, I think I have higher affinity with him than... Like, again, let's just quickly take a look. Because I think I had higher affinity with him than anybody else. <sighs> Yeah, 37. He had the highest affinity out of everyone. Which fucking sucks. And either makes it feel like you need to really, 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 really go in on him to save him. Because, and again, it's also possible that the moral wrathful harmony might come into play, but I don't know. So I'll definitely probably do a New Game Plus run if that's possible. Hopefully. It just feels wonky as hell to me. It just feels kind of meh in that manner. Because again, it, is, it doesn't feel like Like they made it any way that you could. It doesn't feel like it's a bibbidi ba. Just feels odd.
So yeah, feels often weird. Feels often weird. Hopefully, I'll have to be more careful with my decisions, I guess. But yeah, it just feels odd. And, like, again, it feels less like your choices matter and more like your stats matter. Like your moral, wrathful harmony, your affinity with the characters. It feels like that is probably going to be what decides saving characters, which kind of kills the choices matter aspect of it depending on how that functions, and I almost want to look it up because this really annoys me. Bleg. I hope that there's a new game plus where you keep, like, all your stats and then you can save everyone. That would be amazing. Kind of annoying to have it be put onto a new game plus run to do it, but at the same time, maybe not, and but yeah, it just feels odd, an odd decision, because, again, maybe my expectations were skewed after having played Mass Effect. Which, the one time that I lost someone in Mass Effect that was left up to choice, technically, was the one that was literally decided to be a permanent, like, uh, split choice, because during develop development, they realized, hmm, if we make it possible to save both the characters on this mission, then everyone will do that. So let's go and make it not. And then they realized, oh no, splitting paths bad. But yeah, very annoying. To a degree. And again, now this makes me feel like, hmm, maybe I should just go down the moral path permanently. Or the harmony path permanently. I don't know. Feels wonky and weird. And I suppose that we will see things later. Very odd, very weird. Hopefully we can figure things out. And lower the amount of deaths that happen. But it's very wonky weird. And I kind of don't like it. But, again, maybe New Game Plus will save the game for me. <laughs> maybe the story will really hit in all the right places. Again, that's also a thing that annoys me. Is that I wanted the deaths to hurt. But emotionally, like, oh no, I failed, not... Hmm, I guess I didn't grind my stats enough. Which is what it feels like. It didn't feel like I made the wrong choices with Ryo. It feels like I didn't have the capability to save him. And that sucks. Again, maybe, maybe, maybe. You can do a New Game Plus run where you keep your affinities and keep your stats and stuff. And you can go and uh, down a, like, I don't know, maybe if you go down all moral or primarily moral, primarily harmony, you can, like, have different saving paths or something. I don't know. I don't know how the game works. I don't know what the wrathful moral and kindness thing has to do. It feels odd and weird, and I don't understand it. Bleg. But again, right before... I'll do it, one more part of the rant before I'll go to the end, but uh, the main reason why it annoys me so much is it just kind of makes me fear that my choices don't matter. That it's less, oh, your choices, like, again, it feels less like Mass Effect, where your choices do matter. Actually, maybe it does feel exactly like Mass Effect. May maybe Moral, Wrathful, and Harmony is just Renegade and... Uh, Renegade and Paragon again, but it's three-way now, and the choices that you're able to get are dependent on the stats you have, which then means that the people that you can save and outcomes that you can get are dependent on your stats. Oh no, maybe this is Mass Effect 1 all over again. 
Again, maybe this will just mean that I go down a single path, the moral path maybe, just out of, well, screw it. It feels like my choices don't matter anyway. And after that, I think I'm going to start save scumming Affinity. Because it, the game makes me feel like I my choices don't matter. And that you have to guide dang it to save people. Which is not fun in a your choices matter game. So yeah, that's probably going to be my modus operandi in the future. Probably stick to... Because, like, again, it seems like the, oh... Moral, wrathful, harmonious, like, dialogue choices. It doesn't seem like they affect anything all that much. Except maybe the Gomamon. Maybe the Gomamon. But, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save Scum Affinity because screw you, game. There's no way to save Ryu. Ryu, we need to find Ken before Akuma tentacles can take you away! But, yeah, it just feels like there was no way that I could save Ryo. It felt like Ryo was doomed by the plot. And that there was nothing to save him. It didn't feel like a failing on my part. It felt like... Again, maybe that's the uh, hook. <laughs> maybe this is Undertale all over again. But bad because in Undertale if you went to the neutral route and didn't kill anyone Flowey would pop up and say hey maybe you could have been better friends with Alfie's and then you could go and do true pacifist maybe some maybe maybe I need to do a new game plus run so I can be better friends with Ryo and go true pacifist on this <laughs> also I'm kind of disappointed that the talk feature doesn't really seem to do much in con- Like, maybe I need to do the talk command more to, like, uh, buff the Digimon in battle. But it feels like a waste that the you can't really talk to enemy Digimon in story battles. Only in free battles. Or very specific- No, I don't even think in, like, the Gomamon- No, you couldn't talk to them there. So yeah, you could only talk to Digimon in free battles. That's kind of wonky. But yeah, this puts fears and red flags in my head, and it's definitely going to alter the way I play this game. Because the game basically said, screw you, your choices don't matter. That's what it feels like to me. So I'm gonna have to adapt, Digivolve myself. But yeah, I'm still having fun with this game. It just, like like I said, this is going to affect how I play the game in the future. Like, the way that I go about playing this game. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to, more from me, I have an archive channel on YouTube called Neon Icy Games, where all these streams eventually end up. And if you're already one of those people watching the archives, then you can come and watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then if you want more art from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can catch me on Twitter, t uh, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, all at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner, to see various arts that I post into the void that is the internet. I swear, I'm going to draw more. I swear. And yes, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, bye. <laughs>